All right, what's going on, boys and girls? How we doing? Welcome to the worst Magic the Gathering stream. Lovely to have all you with me. As always, what a joy it is for you to have me. Wow, that's great for you. Um, now, let me just really quick. Sorry, it's it's chugging along. That's why I took a minute to start there. I made a um, <clears throat> I made a change to this deck list, and I suppose I'll start out with it right after uh, the commander here. Um, most of us know what it does, but at the beginning, um, when it enters the battlefield and at the beginning of our upkeep, we're going to create that token there if we don't control it already, right? So that way we don't just populate the fields with them like it initially was released as. Um, I think it was like and at the beginning of each upkeep, you just put them in no matter what. Um, so anyway, <clears throat> a plus one, plus one counters commander in not only green, which I think most of the times I've been playing plus one, plus one counter things like Vorinclex in like Kodam of the West Tree or whatever. It's been like all green. So I'm really happy to include red because I have some nice green red cards and um, well, now some red cards that I've been playing a bit of mono red too. So really nice that we can put three plus one, plus one counters and up to one target creature with trample or haste. So we have... A bunch of creatures that are going to have either one of those or some type of very valuable utility. That's pretty much what we have here. Minskibu also has a minus two ability. Sacrifice a creature like that um, token that we can just make another one of. And when we do, Minskibu deals X damage to any target where X is that creature's power. And if the sacrificed creature was a hamster draw some cards so you know even if we're not going to kill them it's still great to do it um now some things to maybe help with that minus two ability just really quickly um we have um zopin drill here right doubling power at combat we have um fiery emancipation here if a source we control would deal damage uh it deals triple instead and we also have god eternal ronis for a one shot but possibly more than one shot given how he goes back into the library third from the top of doubling the power right giving him a vigil as well. Um, so the change that I just made was Sarath, the Viper's Fang, because other tapped creatures we control have Death Touch, and I think that that goes well with Trample and Haste, it, and it goes further well with so many things, like like our Commander's Token here, and then like Quartzwood Crasher, because we're probably going to be getting in some of the damage, because the way Trample and um, Death Touch works is you only have to assign lethal damage to the creature, and then all the rest of the damage gets through. You have Death Touch, so lethal damage is one damage, the rest of it swings through, so that, uh, yeah, that's going to be really nice right especially with like weird double powered stuff with that minus two ability after we get in with a fat hit right so um let's see uh we have a bunch of fight spells that's pretty much what's here uh lightning bolt both lanoir elves um hardened scales because we're running hardened scales and uh branching evolution is over here we've got the ozolith to collect counters that uh come off our creatures should they leave the battlefield and then at the beginning of combat if the ozolith has any counters we can put those counters onto target creature it'll mostly be the plus one plus one counters i considered putting vivian um monsters advocate in here because she also ha gives um vigilance trample and reach counters which would be pretty cool to give this either Vigilance or Reach um, and then put them on the Ozolith and then constantly just spread Vigilance, Trample, and Reach to like all of our creatures if we could do that, right? That's pretty cool. We're running uh, Vorinclex there. Kogla and Thorn Mammoth are just for more field control because I don't have a lot of fight spells and I'm I'm trying to be more interactive, okay? That's what it is. We'll, we'll see if that's too much. We're running uh, Galta. Our draw engines are the Great Henge, uh, Chandra and Chandra, Guardian Project, Toski, Naith. Those are those. We're also running things like Fight Rigging, Kodama of the West Tree. Um, I've got Bard Class for the first time in here because we do have a bunch of legendaries. So yeah, it's nice. It, um, level two, it reduces legendary spells casting cost by a mountain and a forest, which is uh, really nice. We also have Escape to the Wilds for the first time here. So there's that. Um, I don't think there's too much else to say. Thank you for waiting there. Oh yeah, Bloat and Contaminator is kind of cool here. And I have uh, Radha, Clothis, and Domery's Ambush, which is, or Domery and Arcabola, sorry, which is fun. All right, let's get right into this. Thank you all for uh, hanging in with me there. I didn't really know the order that I wanted to introduce that. Um, oh, let's see. I have mail. Um, the arena. Okay. Um, okay. Let's see how this goes. I had in my first um, like draft or whatever of this deck, Champion of Lamholt. I just didn't think it was too good, but I like that it was another source of plus one, plus one counters. Um, we're running All Will Be One from um, the uh, new Phyrexia set here. Um, the like red enchantment, it's like a five cost. Um, whenever you put like counters on any permanents you control, 
Um, it deals like that much damage to like a you know an opponent, their creature, or planeswalkers. Um, damn it, I think I. I don't know, man. I mean, this isn't really good, right? Jesus, fine. All right, we'll keep six. We'll get rid of probably heroic intervention. Oh, Rusty, how we doing, man? Welcome, nice to have you. I had a Vastwood Scourge. Uh, is that the ramp spell that could like has the kicker and it could put two plus one plus one counters, or else it just gets you two lands? Um, evolution. Hang on, sorry. Um, do this. Drop this. Okay, Evolution Sage. Is that the Landfall Proliferate? Is that what that is? Roaring Earth. I know that one combo. Wow. Okay, yeah, that's big. And you're doing Kodama of the West Tree. Okay, so you're getting plus one, plus one counters on everything. Okay, that's really good. Into Plain Wide Celebration. Ooh, right. The seven cost sorcery for the win. Oh, God. What did you do? Just, just do like Proliferate like a million times or something? I would assume that you chose Proliferate times four, uh, which is pretty psychotic, to be honest. Um, do we want to, like, get rid of this? Yeah, we honestly probably do want to get rid of that. And it doesn't have Death Touch, so... Does this have Decayed? Wow. Yeah, that's pretty nuts, dude. Wow. <laughs> Very good. That's a... Uh... <laughs> That's a heck of a lot of nice landfall setup there you had there, man. Now, Rusty, I have a question for you. Are you getting that landfall setup? And, like, are you getting, um, like, early value out of Kodama of the West Tree so you can, like, you know, like, supercharged ramp into your, uh, you know, bigger spells or whatever? Is that happening, like, consistently? And do I need to check to see if I have red mana? Um, let's see. What is that? Um, why don't we just go ahead and pass turn, I think. Because, honestly, um, I might want to, like, get a block and then do Inscription of Abundance plus, two, plum, plus one, plus one counters. Sorry, I had to pick up my dog there. I don't know how long I kept you guys waiting. Sorry about that. Okay... Hell yeah, Nino! How we doing, man? Nice to see you. Oh man, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I'm, I'm uh, kind of hoping that this guy uh, swings with the three three. I think he was smarter than that. I like this guy. All right, Jesus Christ, dude! Jesus freaking Christ! That was that was a good window to play it because they only had the uh, swamp and uh, no islands. That <sighs> damn it, dude! Any land will suffice too. This is. I mean, this is probably it. This is really just a uh, handcuffing. Alright. Yeah, not with the Scarab God out, unfortunately. <laughs> it, it's too late to, uh... I mean, drop God Eternal Ronis just as a defender and then just sit there. <laughs> and then they, you know, they haven't even killed anything yet in blue and black. They're gonna counter it or, um... They're gonna counter it or kill it. Like the Minskin boost. So we're going to get minimal value out of it before it's killed. We're still top decking for the next two lands. Samut! Nice! Yo, boys, if anyone's watching this, live, pre recorded, whatever, um, <clears throat> the stream with the date before this one yesterday was um, Salmon. I, I had some pretty nice games in there, not even going to lie. I had a lot of fun with that thing if anyone's interested in that. Do I not have as many mana rampers as I think I do in here? What's going on with oh, all this bad mana? Damn, dude. I, I might have to check on the uh, number of mana dorks I have. I might need to put some more in. I have a lot of early plus one plus one counters on. Yeah, okay. Yeah, very good, man. Hey, if you're experiencing consistent success, you know, and that doesn't mean you're winning everything. It just means, like, you know, you're doing your thing a decent amount of the time. So, hell yeah, that's very good, dude. Very good. All right, we'll probably drop Den of the Bugbear since it enters untapped. Our on yeah, uh, yeah, that's probably just it. This is really clunking along. I think next turn we drop Count the Ambush. We offer um, Sarath for them to uh, just kill it. This is bad. <laughs> this is bad, dude. I have. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have 38 lands plus the Kalni ambush. Which actually, now that I think about it, I need to drop that as my land. God, this is terrible, man. This is terrible. I have a pretty big pile of two drops, dude. 
freeze tip. Got Nath out. That's re that's really freaking good. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, this is great. Oh yeah, we're doing it. We're gonna get Minsk and Boo out, and it doesn't really matter because he'll die really fast after he comes out. So we might want to get like Sarith out. This is bad, dude. This is just all right, dude. Next turn, he's going to double Samit's power. I think we're pretty much screwed at this point. I don't really know what to do. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. This is a non-game. It's just, if you get handcuffed while they're, like, beautifully on curve, like, I'm sorry, I've read enough writing on walls. We'll, we'll get into a, uh, a game soon enough. I guess I'm paying penance for uh, yesterday's, uh, the last win on yesterday's stream. Did pretty darn well with Samit, which I uh, forgot to uh, finish saying, but yeah, we had a lot of fun. Some nice uh, come-from-behind victories there. Definitely recommend it. A lot of fun. Some cool cards there. I like that it incorporates white, too. I don't always uh, have white going on. My predominant is probably red and green, like, you know, and, and then mono green. Um, so it was a lot of fun. Hell yeah. Um, what am I going to do here? Do I keep this? I guess so, because we do have two pieces of ramp, right? I mean, we, go, we do basically this and then commander i guess we kind of have to pray each step of the way though because um elvish mystic uh hello i mean you're running black and red so is that the hello of an annoying pro oh, god all right nice yeah that's a hell of a Ugh, god all right dude i'll probably get rid of the signet honestly Although, I mean, we do have shiny cards up top, but the Signet's the right way to go. Let's uh, get our next Scry. Uh, I think we might have enough there. Eh, you know, we might need it, because how is Llanowar Elves really going to destroy, or really going to live the whole time, you know? Horn Beetle makes a lot of tokens when you have... Con yeah, oh, that thing's good, right? Uh, what's it, like a 1-1 one, one Insect or something for each plus one, plus one counter you've put on stuff this turn? Yeah, that's really good. That's real good, man. Real, real good. All right. Go ahead and uh, attack at that. That way, if they want a minus one, they lose it. I would assume they might kill Elvish Mystic now, knowing that we're uh, looking to pay off into our commander. All right. Do we discard Fiery Emancipation? Do we discard the land? I'm going to go for a little greedy there. All right. Let's hope that this... Uh, actually survives. They're holding back. Let's see if we actually get the uh, ability off. It looks like they have something to say about that. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Yep, they're dealing with the damage right now, so, uh, yeah. Alright, well, we're all tapped out. If we get the uh, token, we might as well swing. I mean, if Elvish Mystic lives and we draw land, we can drop Fiery Emancipation. Honestly, I'll take it. Let's, uh, let's attack. So I'm curious about how this one's going to work in today's stream. I honestly messed up in my introduction, didn't really take notice of it, and this was probably the uh, thing on the uh, thumbnail that I most wanted to talk about. Um, <clears throat> let's get rid of Tamiyo's safekeeping because, um, Discard an additional card, we have to decline. Because if we draw the land and we can get Fiery Emancipation down, that will be good if we can ever get any anything staying on the field. Honestly, we needed the Source of Red. That really freaking sucks. Ah, oh, that really sucks, man. That really sucks. You know what? Ah, uh, yeah, let's just play it, because we still need to get towards our uh, next casting of our commander. The hamster is cool? Hell yeah. Definitely, man. Got some nice alt art on the thumbnail, too. Pretty cool. Um, Jesus Christ. What an absolute freaking handcuff. Man. I mean, I will have to look at, uh, you know, the, the mana dorks. Because I probably don't need fire emancipation in this deck. I mean, the theory is to, you know, fling the boo at them for, uh, you know, um, lethal easily. <laughs> 
The first the first turn, if you fling a uh, boo, that's a four. Four units, twelve damage. That's pretty insane. Good. Good lord, dude. Good lord. It has to attack? Did he play something that makes me have to attack until your next turn? Yeah, so he's going to trade my creature for my creature. Yeah, it's well played. Yep. Christ almighty, this game. This freaking game, dude. Really should have left it a while ago, but he's mana screwed, but we're just fucking screwed. Good lord, dude. Well, we drop Vorinclex, it dies immediately. Maybe we get a card out of Shaper Sanctuary. Hopefully they don't make target player sacrifice a creature. I want them to, to, to uh, hit that. Which we're obviously sure that they will. We just want the freaking card, dude. I need a source of freaking red, okay? Thank you. Come on, please source of red. Okay, dude. All right. I think we're pretty much done here at this point. They can use that to uh, cast their commander next turn. <clears throat> we're, we're just sitting here freaking treading water. My god, dude. I mean, at least we can do this, I guess. This is pretty good, to be honest. Because we can use um, all will be one to kill this, honestly. So this is pretty good. Because all, yeah, all will be one is going to be really nice here. We're actually going to kill... Do we kill this, or do we really kill Chandra? Um... Because we can deal her, uh, yeah, we're going to kill her, I think. Yeah, this is how we do it, sorry. I, it took me a second to realize exactly what we're going to do here. Because now we're going to uh, put one counter on that. There. And now three counters. Uh, there. And four damage there. Alright, I figured it out. I didn't waste any damage. Not terrible for our first time with it. I'd say it's already worth it. Because that was pretty profitable, right? That was a total of, like, what, seven damage? Three, one, and three. One, three. You're just fuel for the fires do they, do they uh, keep it forever? Until end of turn. Uh, well, it's going to uh, it's gonna kill Minsk and Boo, unfortunately. But we, um... Well, we pray that we get a source of red, okay? Um... Christ almighty, dude. Oh, right. I can't do that. Um, I guess we're going to do uh, this. Not too much more to do. So um, probably uh, end the turn. I think I'm going to keep a braid so that I can um, so I can discard fire emancipation. No fire. <laughs> Each opponent discards a card. Um, discard a card. Probably that, I think. We, I just really need to get down freaking fire emancipation, man. But damn it, how ugh, this freaking third source of red? We we drew this. It's it's just open mockery at this point. I it's kind of funny, but ugh, God, dude. All right, man. Congratulations, you're over your mana screw. You win. I, I I'm honestly I have more lands than him. I'm not over mine yet. I just come on, dude. We need this. Come on, man. It's not, it wasn't as bad as his though, to be honest. Uh. We have to do that, because now we can swing in at their commander. I mean, he has one mana right now, so what's it going to be? Are you going to do, like, what, that black march and also discard cards out of your hand? Like, how are you going to get this? This guy is freaking out. He is racking his brains down to the most buried in their neuron to figure out how he's going to do this with one mana. We actually just drew that. That's actually pretty amazing. What a weird form of mockery, keeping me from casting the one thing in my hand. He actually is doing that march. You know what? We draw another card. Honestly, we're getting closer to commander tax. <clears throat> uh, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. We will hit Minsk and Boo here. We will hit Minsk and Boo. We're blowing up everything. We're blowing up everything. Yep, three damage there. That's very expensive, and they're top decking. Your best start thinking fast. 
All right. Um, I may have messed up. I think I was supposed to do more. Oh, wait. No, we can get four damage on it here. Nope. He said oops. We're going to hello him because that's not oops. Watch what happens. That's one and we also get three. Oops. <sighs> All right. All right. Let's try to keep it on the field this time. If we can, we win. Top deck of land. All right. There it is. Wow. We actually did it. All right, dude. Wow, that was kind of miserable. Not even going to lie. Have <laughs> Maybe it was a prison of my own building because keeping the uh, the fiery emancipation over a couple of cards. I don't know. God. <laughs> Hang on. You know what? Sorry, just really quickly. Do I have enough red? I, I'm just sorry. I just... <laughs> I'm so annoyed by that that I'm actually checking. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Yes, <laughs> that was quite a game, man. But you know what, man, even though um, we top deck that amazing, um, you know, that amazing uh, indestructible and hexproof thing, um, even though we did that, like he then had to target it again. He lost all of the cards in his hand and we got Shaper Sanctuary. So we replaced ours. So like, that's actually really good. Honestly, I'm kind of OK with this. Yeah, then that's plenty of red. OK. I'll be thinking about um, what to get rid of in place of... Oh, you know what? I actually know, I think, what to get place of in rid of a Mana Dork. I, I think it has to be God Eternal Ronus. It just... It doesn't have the... Tra it, I, I know what it's for. It's for a kill shot, but I have other things here, too. I, I think I need to... I'm sorry. Let me just put in... Um, Let me see. Um, What would be good here? Lanawar Loam Speaker, maybe, since it has... Um, oh, we already have Lanawar Loam Speaker. Okay, let me just do a search for a uh, ad really fast. Um, and then green because i probably want a mana dork um let's see it could be druid of the cowl i usually prefer things that uh uh menagerie curator might be okay do we have hang on just really quickly do we have any unique creature typing creatures okay i see a bunch of ones here so we're probably eh, but that doesn't actually make our commander sorry about this we're gonna add this one because if we can modify it um <clears throat> it'll get plus one um there's nothing better than that right eh Reclusive Taxidermist. Sorry about that. Um, we're going to get rid of a... Put in that one because it adds any color. Thank you for waiting with me for a, a moment there. Um, okay, let's get right back into this. Thank you for your patience. I'm sorry. I, I just... I, I was looking at a lot of those mulligans and I'm like, man, this is kind of a slow hand. So I think that's what we needed to do. Take out something on the upper end. I, I don't know. I don't know if God Eternal Runes is going to bring us back from behind. It, it could, if we're not too far behind. If we have a big, like, trample swing, that would be good. The Minskin Boo would probably have to be at least 8-8 eight, eight for that, to, like, come from behind. I don't know. It doesn't have trample and haste to accept our commander's uh, things, but, you know, obviously the double power, the reason I put it in there, still stands. I don't know. I don't know. Do we keep this? Do we keep this? Lanoir Elves Branching Evolution is really good. But, like, it's very slow. We're up against the Trox. I should probably just keep it because we're up against the Trox and it doesn't matter. He's either going to uh, create value and that I can't keep up with or he's going to fall flat and then I'll win. It's, it, does, it doesn't matter. Um, let's uh, use this for the uh, Scry first, I guess. Unless we draw a, uh untapped green. Yeah, exactly. It's. I'm sorry. I'm just, I've been over it for a few weeks now. Um, do we keep that? I don't think so. I think we might need, like, a mana rock or something. As nice as, the, as that is, and it's even kind of accessible. They actually have a really good start here. They have three permanents out, and one of them is this, but they paid for it with a nice dual land, so that's actually really good for them uh, to have this. Do that. The only thing we pretty much can do here. And we'll pass the turn. Um, this lets us um, play a land off the top, right? Yeah, I have it in here because it's a legendary version of um, Augur of Autumn, so it goes well with um, Bard Class, which we have in here, too. <clears throat> Bard Class is the thing that I forget what it does um, for uh, Chapter 1, but like or Level 1, whatever. And Level 2 is like your legendary spells cost like red and green less to cast, which is actually pretty amazing. And this is actually pretty amazing here, too. I think we're probably going to go Domri here. <clears throat> I mean, he doesn't have blue mana, 
So, like, Mana Tithe isn't going to work either. I don't know if they would run Mana Tithe. With running blue, I don't see why they would do that. So I don't know what the hell this is. All right, and so it's not going to interact with me. Okay, he's just going to do his own thing. All right, very good. We'll just plus Domri and pass turn. I don't think we're going to uh, do the Lanawar Alpha Trition here. I mean, I could. Have at it, boys. Up. Uh. Eh, should we attack? Honestly, uh, yeah. Let's just go ahead. Let's do it. Because they're going to hit Domri for one, if anything. That brings him down to three, and he can still minus two and lift for a fight if we uh, happen to have that. All right, dude. Oh, looks like you're all mouth and no hand. Great. Okay. All right, dude. I get it. I got a few too many wins yesterday. I get it. There's some pretty good wins too. Not even gonna lie. Good lord, dude. <laughs> we actually have some pretty wild cards in hand. Double counters, double power, triple damage, double counters. And yet, god damn... Ah, damn. I, for the record, I think it's 38 lands plus count the ambush for a total of 39. <laughs> Christ almighty. So they're going to drop a Trox and swing in for huge. Um, <clears throat> we're going to have to do some real good stuff here, man. Real good stuff here. I think they can attack with Shieldred and that's it. But they might want to keep it back as a blocker because we are going to get Minsk and Boo down most likely here. No block. game is awful man this game is truly awful right now what do we we could do escape to the wilds because um uh, do we do escape to the wilds because we could get two lands and then drop paradise druid and then would that help with this into anything no not really all right so i'm just gonna play it make the thing put a whole lot of counters on it and we have to pass turn no attacks, because we needed to. We needed to protect our um, commander from Shieldred. So we we need to pray for it. All right, we could go a little wild on them if they. I. Do we think that they're attacking with Shieldred here? If we get Fiery Emancipation down, that's going to be really good. We need any land. Because if we can get six more counters on this, make it, what would that be, 13-13? They have to super, they have to block it with everything. Uh, well, not everything. Maybe, like, I don't know if Atroxa would work. I don't know. Okay, they don't block, so we get to try to uh, beef this thing up from here. Um, what are we gonna do? Let's get the land off the top. Are we going Fiery Emancipation, and then Huge Swing? Are we going Vorinclex, and then a Reasonable Swing? Um, I'm kind of liking Fiery Emancipation. Right? I, I'm kind of liking it. They have one mana. Can it not be Spell Pierce? Can it not be Spell Pierce? Um, all right, hang on. Triple damage, right? So I can't swing it in at them for um, for full lethal. Very unfortunately. We're two away from that. All right. So this isn't lethal, but that's 39 damage if they let it all hit them. Um, they'll be blocking it for sure. Um, 
So I think we should blo attack with this too, because it has first strike. So Atroxa won't even kill it, right? It doesn't have first strike. And yeah, this so I think that's a good move. I think that's good. Because they definitely have to dedicate a blocker to Radha now. All right, so with this one, they would gain 7 life. This would deal them 6 damage, so 18 damage. They gain 7. They only lose 11 from that. All right, well... Um... I don't know if that was the move. I think they lose now, because now they're get now it's not blocking. This has trample, so it's still going in. This is your brain on Atroxa, boys and girls. He now takes 39 damage from that. He goes down to negative 14. He's embarrassed and ashamed. That's your brain on Atroxa, folks. The newest power crept commander. I mean, you can play it if you want wins, but then you make plays like that. Ooh. Oh, boys and girls, hopping on the trendy, the trendy overpowered commander bandwagon. Now you know why they do it. There it is. You just, there it is. It, it's, it's clear as day. Really smart move. Wow. I hope he found some cards that he really liked too. I, I, all of his favorites. God, boys and girls, that's your win. That's your average winning is fun player. The hamster is so big, GG. Yeah, like we actually had some really cool cards in hand. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Wow, and to think that we were so close to just being able to fling it into them at lethal damage and then draw like what twenty. What would it have been? The nearest multiple of three is like 27, I think. Wow, would it have to have been 27 damage, 27 cards? Hell yeah. I don't think we keep this. Fine. Keep seven. Um, Rockfall first, I guess. Yeah. That was actually huge numbers there. 39 damage, dude. We took him down from starting health to negative 14. One shot. Um, that's probably going to be Paradise Druid here, so that we can pay off into Guardian Project. Guardian Project, I, it doesn't work with our commander, I know, but we do have a bunch of creatures, and I just have it in here because it was hard to figure out exactly which card uh, card advantage to uh, put in. I'll have this, fight finished this doesn't have haste, unfortunately. Oh, one of your friends has to leave. Um, do we still do it anyway, or do we put in, like, Armored Scrap Gorger? Armored Scrap Gorger isn't going to pressure Liliana. Radha will. And I would imagine it probably to kill spell. But if it doesn't get a kill spell, maybe just maybe we can get a hit on them. We'll discard Thorn Mammoth because there's no real other choice right now. We discard fast so that we get to their heads. Yeah, he doesn't even know what he wants to discard. And he was the one sitting there figuring if he wanted to make that play. Jesus, you didn't even know what to discard right away. You made the play and then you thought of what to discard. God, God, I, I hope not. I hope that was like some lag. All right. This ain't good. This is not good. We drop this. We drop this. Um, we're not looking good. They might want to minus Liliana to kill that, though, if they can't get a kill spell, because Minsk and Boo. Yeah, they might want to kill that. I mean, and they're also Muldratha. Alright, so if we get an untapped land, that's actually beautiful, because we kill Consuming Blob. Yeah, this one makes the uh, token, the uh, copy at the beginning of turn, so let's go ahead and uh, nip that in the bud right now. Um, one, two, three. I mean, we could do Minsk and Boo, but then they get a good uh, swing at our thing here, so I think this might be better for now. Competent blocker at the moment. Uh, fight this one. I'm always finding good plays from this thing. So long as you cast it within a, a reasonable, like, mana curve. I, I'm finding value from that thing so often, man. 
All right, Eldest Reborn, we sacrifice a creature. Great. Do we attack? Do we attack? Yes, might as well get the damage in. They only have a 2-3 on the field right now. I have to discard a card. What do I discard? Probably Guardian Project. Honestly, as much as I hate to do it, our commander does have a draw ability, and this can kill their commander um, Like coming up here. That does suck that they got to 3 there, though. I hope they don't get to freaking more. I hope they just drop Muldratha, please. Please kill Muldratha. Don't let the last card in your hand be the answer to my Planeswalker. You've 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 had your share of removal. That's enough. Liliana, Plague Crafter, now this. Alright, Minskinbu lives. Please, please, please. <clears throat> okay. We like this. We like this. We like this. Alright. <clears throat> this. Love to see it. Um, we are going to put the counters on. <clears throat> uh, what exactly is this? From a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control? Um, I think we should do that. Maybe we should do Muldratha after that. What exactly is this? Um, do we have anything good in our graveyard? Yeah, Thorn Mammoth. That actually freaking sucks. Um, let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, not attack, I think. I think we can't attack. Um, yeah, I want Minskinbu to live. Um, target creature we control, fights target creature we don't control. I thank you for waiting for me, but that, I don't even know if I'm making the right move now. Oh, can it please not be? Fine. Yep, fine. Command Helps with commander tax. As a matter of fact, that is commander tax. It'll cost seven the second time around, so... No attack. I don't think we're going to use this to draw a card. Will they take back Muldratha? Because then they can play stuff from their graveyard. But we also have Thorn Mammoth. Alright, they take back Muldratha. I'm honestly okay with that. It's actually annoying, though, because we have to sacrifice the creature. And we lose Minsk and Boo here. That actually really sucks. Right? Because they're just going to play the Eldest Reborn. Ah, oh, shit. I, I, I think I have pooped that up. Yeah, and we just take four damage on Minsk and Boo. Yeah, I honestly, I, I think we're Enough probably done here. I'll check our top deck. I don't even think we can do this, though, because um, because that, that, that's our commander tax. I think that's it. Yeah. We're done. <clears throat> At our best, we're dropping the 4-4. Four, four. It's <laughs> it's not happening now. They're going to bring Lily on. <laughs> oh, God. We're not going to have a hand. I think that's too much value now. <clears throat> oh, man. <clears throat> Hurts a bit. Yeah, that was the right type of deck to uh, turn on the um, the screws with the uh, with a constant stream of removal against Minsk and Boo. That's what you got to do, man. Got to remove that one. Oh man, for that matchup, we have um, Frog Hemoth because it's actually really good in this deck with Trample and Haste. The capacity to enter the field except three plus one plus one counters. That's the one that like when it deals combat damage to a player, you like remove that many cards from their graveyard and then like what's it? For each creature card revealed that way, put a plus one plus one counter on it, gain some life. We keep that honestly. Because they might hit a uh, red kill spell or black kill spell, whatever. <laughs> I think we all know what I meant. On uh, our commander, so I think we'll probably try to get to six mana, which could be possible with this hand before playing this. <clears throat> Just for the Tamios. Keep it around to turn and then have a boo. That's really a problem. Um, Rat Colony gets blown up, I think, on impact, right? Uh, with this, X equals 2. I'm telling you, man, I'm always getting freaking good use out of this thing.
Elliot and Eno, have a good day, man. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate the viewership. Don't forget to like the stream before you go. Thank you so much. Helps the channel grow. All right, cloud key on, of course, creatures. I didn't show it there. It's, yeah, it's clearly on creatures. Uh, be kind of silly not to. So we have a choice here. We could do Oracle of Moldiah, but I'm kind of liking Toski a little more. Instead of looking at the top card with Oracle, we'll just get it into our hand, and if it's a land, we get to play it. All right. So, you know, maybe with Oracle of Moldiah, we would have uh, had another land under that. I'm kind of okay with that, having Toski on the field now. Oh, yeah, it looks like they tapped for that, so we're going to get a... Uh... <clears throat> they're they're going to put a lot of rats on the field at a time, which is obviously what they're going to do here. Um, <clears throat> we are going to get this started. Getting a lot of, uh, getting a lot of cards here. A lot of cards. Oh, thank you, Nino, for stopping. Oh, no, no, oh, whatever. <clears throat> whatever, I'll honestly take the extra card. I'm, I'm fine. <clears throat> wow. Toski's good. Uh, let's get rid of that one, I think. I mean, it can seek us a land, but we do have some decent card stuff. Toski there. Okay, yeah, there, uh. Yeah, big rats. We have um, Domri to get at a rat, Domri's ambush to get at a rat, and an emergency minus two here. <clears throat> don't think we need it. They don't have a lot of toughness. Um, let's uh, let's start with Domri because Toski gets a free kill on one of their rats. <clears throat> so let's just fight the indestructible. Boom. Take him down to three. No more getting pushed around. Uh, boom. Take him down to uh, two of them. Boom. Uh, drop that. And I think we'll swing with everything. <clears throat> Blocking the Elysian Caryatid is not really super phenomenal here. It doesn't matter too much, I don't think. We draw all the cards. We'll probably discard a lot of mountains. They'll probably swing in at Minsk and Boo and then concede. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, pass a turn. Get rid of this. Yes. Oh, two. Sorry. Okay, my bad. <clears throat> um, let me shift and enter. Okay, is that going to auto pass like a lot? Because I have to do this for each one of them, right? Okay, it's actually auto passing. Yeah, very nice. Thank you. All right, so they have one kill on our commander, and then we just swing through with trample damage on the uh, rat alone. On the hamster, whatever it's called. Good game. <clears throat> well, this is a sad day for All right, we'll do it fast. Let's just uh, drop a uh, Lon and Elena. Yeah. Oh, you gave me one second. Thanks. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I probably sh actually looking at this. Yeah, I probably should have just uh, quit. Whatever. Yeah, I, <clears throat> I took five extra seconds for him. My bad. I don't. I don't trust him. Oh, unfortunately for him, we did have a decent number of removal, but, like, I'm trying to be a little more interactive with the stuff that I have here. Now, I'm really liking that Voracious Hydra, the one that enters, and you either double the plus one, plus one counters on it, or it fights. Because not even is the fight super good, but, like, as much value as I get at the, as the, at, on the fight, and I probably play um, fighting it, like, 80, 90% of the time, but, like... If you double the number of tokens on it, or plus one, plus one counters, and you have Hardened Scales, Branching Evolution, Vorinclex, it gets pretty nutty. Uh, sure. Honestly, we'll keep this. We have ramp. We have cost reduction. Um, let's go, uh, this one first. We'll probably go ahead and, uh, crack green here. I see double green in our, um, hand. <clears throat> Alright, uh, this red... I guess um, Armored Scrap Gorger would probably be good. And then the turn after, we can do Bard Class and um, level it. Which is very good. That's why I have cards like Naith in here, just because like, it's a legendary creature. So like I, I just wanted like increased you know reach of Bard Class level 2 there. Actually, whenever you cast a legendary spell, exile the top two cards of your library. I had forgotten what Bard Class even does. This guy has Sylvan Anthem. Super good. Uh, 
Oh, shoot. Rusty Richardson. There's your boy, man. Oh, Dom of the West tree. Freaking cool, man. There you go. It, no hard feelings should you choose to root against me. I understand. <laughs> All good. Um, let's go ahead. Bard class. Level two. Love to see it. Hajar. Take that out of the graveyard. Hajar. And he entered with a plus one, plus one counter because legendary creatures you control entered the battlefield with an additional plus one, plus one counter. That'll be nice when we get Halan and Elena around. Any plus one, plus one counters on Halan and Elena are just magnified. <clears throat> Kodam of the West Tree. That's cool. I'm... I can't block Aura on Rifus. It's become, it becomes a 5-5, five, five, sadly. I mean, I could block it and sacrifice Hajar. I don't think I want to. I think we'll give them this. We can do Minsk and Boo into um, Arnie Slays the Troll fight with the, um, with the creature. The hamster will be 5-5. Five, five. Because it'll enter with a plus one, plus one counter since it's a legendary creature. That's actually really cool. Um, Kogla's interesting too. Do we do Kogla? Because if we can get it to attack, we destroy this and that's huge. Honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm liking Kogla. Pass turn. It, it just it solves the problem quick faster, so they can they can tap out or tap out all but one to uh, drop it, and then they can't attack with Oron Rifus. So let's see if they have like some sort of maybe power up into fight on Kogla since they are mono green. Okay, they dropped Branching Evolution. That's really good, but Kogla's going to um, attack and destroy that. So we'll let them attack in with Oron Rifus here because it's going to get to a uh, seven. <clears throat> we'll just take the 7, I don't freaking care. Oh, now he's freaking fighting it. Alright, that sucks. We're gonna give it indestructible. And plus 1, plus 0, so now, uh... No, the Orin Rifus doesn't die, sorry, right? Blizzard Brawl gives it indestructible. <clears throat> but I am surviving that. Like, we're blowing up Branching Evolution. Like, let's be perfectly real. That's exactly what the hell we're doing. Uh, Branching Evolution. Bye-bye. <coughs> I can't bring Vivian Reed down because then they'll just bring this down. It gives modified creatures they control trample. So this at 8-8 uh, eight, eight when it attacks <coughs> will probably swing in at Vivian. But um, nevertheless, I could fight it right now. Um, <clears throat> we could do fight rigging and see what we get, honestly. Uh, I kind of like Artie Slays the Troll, to be perfectly honest. I think we might be done here with Kogla. Or maybe I should have done fight rigging. Oh, no, I should have done fight rigging pre-combat main phase, honestly. I'm okay with, with activating fight rigging later, honestly. It's okay. Um, Arnie Slays the Troll Chapter 2 is going to give us a mountain, so that's going to make it easier to have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 6 capacity for mana. We'll go Naith right now instead of fight rigging, I think. Just pass turn. That way, next turn, maybe we can attack with it. Uh, this. That's it. Thank you for growing old with me. Oh, that card is good. <clears throat> that card's definitely good. Because they can... Um, when another creature enters the battlefield, non-human... Um, yeah, um, they can pay X. When you do, put X plus one plus one counters on it. That card is extremely good. So they'll pay X right now. They'll get a plus one plus one counter on it. They'll swing in. We will block. We will block with Naith. I know Naith draws us cards... I, I can't, because they can do that the next time, and then maybe if it's a Lanowar Elf that they drop, and they just tap all their mana, just constant mana sink, we, they might not attack, I don't think. They're seriously considering it. Am I going to block with Naith? I'm not highlighting over anything else. Okay. Um, target up to one creature we control? Um, Naith. Alright, we have that. We're going time, boo, uh, Minsk and Boo, whatever they're called. Um, yep, we're going to, uh, 
How am I going to do this? We're going to uh, put the plus one, plus one counters on it, yeah. Uh, on this, yep. Now, what we're going to do is, I think we're going to use Nayeth's ability to double its power and make them block it. Uh, yep. Uh, we'll get rid of this. Uh, choose attackers, that. They have to block, so either way, it's a good... Because with Kodama, um, if they block it, then they have to pay... Is it 7 next time to bring it in? Yeah, it's going to cost 4 more next time. Yeah, so that'll be 7, which means they'll have to t get the land. We get the card. Still not a land, which is what we needed. But that just happened. That's good. We still have a blocker for Minsk and Boo. <laughs> this could get huge, but if it doesn't get Trample, that's manageable. They just attacked in with that. Should I block it? Yeah, I'm going to block it, honestly. Um, mm, nah. I don't think that they can get us to lethal here. Maybe they can put a lot of plus one, plus one counters on it. I don't know. Either way, we'll just swing in with like a huge doubled thing here. Yeah, that's it. All right. <sighs> All right. All right, that frame rate is really chugging, dude. That is, wow, man, that's really chugging. All right, so the hamster was about to grow out of control there. There you go. Um, yeah, we were we were just going to uh, give it counters, double its power with Naeth, and uh, yeah, yeah. You know, it's kind of fortunate that we didn't see any Death Touch creatures. A lot of the time when I face Kodama, they put down Death Touch. Oh, Moonwatcher, I'm sorry I missed you, my dude. Good evening, back at you. Thank you for stopping by. Hell yeah. Minsk and Boo today. Finally, a plus one, plus one counter strategy. Outside of Vorinclex, Kodama. I don't know if I have another one, but I'm happy to include red in the plus one, plus one counters. Oh, we have this cool card. I don't know how much um, use it'll have. It might have some use. Um, we're up against Giada. That's an issue. Uh, Den of the Bugbear, specifically. Not that mountain. No. Not that mountain one bit. Um, Lightning Bolt is actually okay. Escape to the Woods is probably the best, since nothing's too good there. I mean, arguably, it could be Lightning Bolt to hit their uh, commander. Um, I believe this is Chandra um, plus pass. It, we could do All Will Be One, um, but that's a little too greedy, in my opinion. I mean, we could do All Will Be One next turn. Sorry, what I meant to say was wait to cast Chandra until after All Will Be One. If I was a big boy who could finish his sentences, I would have said that on the first try. Because now they're probably not going to play their commander. So let's see if we see something like Skyclave Apparition or some sort of enchantment that exiles a Planeswalker. Does Ossification exile creature or Doomscar? They didn't play their commander and they just foretold something in past turn. We have to assume Doomscar. I think it will be... Our all will be one is a pretty good one to do here. Let's um, <clears throat> let's plus Chandra. Some nice value out of Chandra there. Go ahead and put a counter on that. We'll deal one damage real fast. Go ahead and get a swing out of a fat Lanoir elf. And so if they just want to sit there and play board game or board wipe games, takes two to tango. Oh, look, it's Giada, then followed quickly by an angel, so you get value out of it. <clears throat> killing all of your things. Killing all of your things, and I'm killing all of your things. Boom, three damage. 
kicking foot. So, everyone form a line. <laughs> All right, boys. I know it's a little too soon because that's only two outings of this thing, but like I am starting to form the impression, however, uh, you know, cautiously so, that this card is good in this deck. It's very nice with our commander because not only does it come in and okay, fine. Three counters coming in isn't really the best. But if we have Vorinclex, we get double, which is actually psychotic. Um, it deals three damage. It puts in the hamster, right? And then we can plus one it. So there's another counter right there. And then we put three plus one plus one counters. There's another three damage right there, right? That's pretty... Oh, Vorinclex? Oh, yeah, absolutely. When I made the deck, he was probably card number five that I put in. I think after Lanoir Elves and Elvish Mystic... Oh, gosh, yes. Hardened Scales, Branching Evolution, Vorinclex. Boom. Plus one, plus one counters. Kodama. Oh, this one came together a little fast, so, um, you know. Um, everything is on the chopping block, but I'm so far kind of satisfied with All Will Be One. And I'm sure it won't always get crazy success every time, but yes, Moonwatcher... Yeah, it is a crazy good card. In the words of Moonwatcher, yes it is. Um, I mean, we could take it. We have a piece of ramp. We're up against a uh, psychotically fast Ivy, so we'll take a, uh, a hand with board wipe or board wipe. Sorry, <laughs> mana ramp. I don't know why the hell I said that. Drop that one while it enters tapped, untapped. Wow. Okay, we're we're doing a great job. Doing a great job. Oh boy. Oh, you're going to attack first and then in post-combat main phase play Ivy? Yeah, I wouldn't be able to Lightning Bolt you if I had it because you play that post-main phase. God, this guy is good. You, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, look at that. I moved to post-main phase too, and now I've played my Llanowar Loam Speaker. God, that was better than if I just dropped it in a main phase one. If you if you don't realize that, I guess you're just not on uh, mine and sup-removes. Sup so supri sopremuza level. You're just not. You're just not on our level. Sorry. Sucks to suck. <laughs> How about you get good? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Imagine not even moving to post combat main before doing everything. Did he drop his land pre combat? <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> Did he actually drop a land pre combat? What a dumbass. I don't even respect you anymore. Honestly, like, <laughs> I just can't take this guy seriously. Did you see what he did? What a moron. If they leave open one blue mana, I'm going to play Frog Hemoth. Okay, since they don't... Uh, we choose blockers. I think they forgot that Helan and Elena has reached. They might concede to that. Yeah. Oh, no! Oh, but but wait, you're so good! You dropped your land You you, you dropped your land post-combat or whatever it did that I made fun of you about. Oh, yeah, you dropped your you dropped your commander. <laughs> yeah. Wow, you're a really good player because you dropped your commander in post-combat main phase. I mean, I guess, honestly, like, it, it's in standard, but he probably doesn't see it a lot. I, I don't know if it's, like, actually being played in standard. A lot of people really do forget Halan and Elena's keywords because, um... You, you know, the the ability is so, like, kind of comical. Um, and that's really the part of it that you focus on. So, like, I don't blame him. But it is kind of funny because, um, I mean, <laughs> I'm sorry. But when people, like, you know, play the land post-combat, it's just like, okay, geek. Like, all right. All right, all right, dude, you're so good. <laughs> let me let me write that down. God, would, would you like that if I wrote that down in front of you so you could feel good? Feel like you taught me something? People always, yeah, once again, I don't blame them, but it is comical. <laughs> a lot of people, oh, you know what, Rusty? I forgot that Kodama um, has reach. Yeah, absolutely. 
And how many of us actually remember everything Questing Beast says? Because we're basically playing the Questing Beast game with what he did with uh, Halan and Elena there. Kind of, sort of. Um, do we keep this? I hmm. The problem is it's just Elvish Mystic. But Elvish Mystic's really good. But it's just Elvish Mystic. If it dies, like, then we have nothing. Yeah, maybe Kogla should have reach. That's pretty interesting. I mean, isn't he illustrated kind of seeming like he has reach? Like up on a building or something? Where's Zopendril? It was in my last hand. Is it is it tall enough to have reach? I don't know. Maybe not. Uh, let's do that, and we have to quick hit the quick pass turn, and we arguably do. Maybe not. I don't know how the lagging or whatever the timings looked. Okay, now I gave it away. Damn it. I gave it away that I have lightning bolt, you guys. I stink. I think we can go with Naeth here. Because, like, we don't know if we're going to draw the land, so... I might as well have something halfway decent on the field. If we don't get the land, I can probably use Naeth's ability to double its own power and swing it free. Honestly, we might... Should I do that anyway? Honestly, no. Because we can get the commander down. I think we probably should while they don't have blue down yet. After years of Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that that's understandable, my dude. Yep. <laughs> I hear you. Uh, that... it's Nothing's gonna happen because we can't pay the cost. We're just attacking with that one. We're keeping the commander mildly safe. Yeah, Moonwatcher. Um, cheap plug to my own stuff if you haven't seen it already. Um, Nath is a lot of fun. I think I've run it in two videos. Yeah, I had a lot of fun with this thing. A lot more um, interaction than I normally use, because I'm a stupid idiot. But uh, yeah, it, it is a lot of fun, man. Um, let's go ahead and do we plus? Um, yeah, I think we plus. Because that's a uh, seven, and now what we do is we force them to, uh, we do this, right? Um, hang on. We're, we, we're going to win. Right here. Right here. Because now we double its power to 16. Boom. Damn, man. Damn, man. Oh, Moonwatcher. Absolutely, yes. Yes, as I um, acquire them, um, I will absolutely... <laughs> Dude, I'm really excited for Tofalar, because I'm not even going to lie to you, man. Um, when you're sitting there, like, and you're sorting the cards by, like, wolves and werewolves or whatever, like, it's sort of underwhelming. Like, it feels like there's a lot of more, like, drafty or like limited sealed whatever i don't even know what the freaking difference is but like it seems like it's like just not enough fun interesting like rare quality stuff with like you know like cool constructed level effects so i can't wait man yeah yeah oh man and if i don't already have things like Maybe Torbran in there if my wolves lean a little towards the red side because Torbran increases damage by two. Fiery Emancipation, I wonder if I should do that. I don't know. I'm just thinking about like auxiliary to the werewolves, how to uh, benefit them. Yeah, it's a tribe. Yeah, sadly, man. Yeah. <sighs> Feels like it's uh, maybe down there with like... I don't know. Is Vampires not... Vampires does have some support, honestly. Yeah, never mind. I shouldn't say that. I'm thinking about the Ixalan tribes as I think about it because I thought about my dinosaurs, but um, it's obviously those to us because I have so much dinosaur content. People have said it plenty of times, but like... How are merfolk doing? Are they like... feeling supported? Like, the, it's not like elves where you can expect some... Yeah, oh, God, dude, yeah. They they got a new draw engine, too. I don't know if they got a new anthem effect. This guy just uh, auto-conceded against us, which is why it took so long there. But that's okay, because um, it's Teferi, and I would have conceded against him and got the loss if uh, that connection issue didn't happen and give me a draw. 
So that's okay. I, no. <laughs> oh, man. The elves. Oh, yeah. And then they also got the planeswalker, too. The the green and black planeswalker, which I think is really cool. Because back in um in Lorwyn, um, elves was green and black. Um, and goblins was red and black. Um, but, yeah. And, and merfolk was blue and white. Not blue and green like it is today. Um, and no one cares. I, I know. I know. <laughs> um, but, um... Yeah, I'm happy to see Elves going back into some black there with that uh, really nice Tyvar uh, Planeswalker. Merfolk were Tier 1 or 2 for some time. Okay, hey! I like that. Cool, man. Cool. I wonder if they, they did Unblockable. I actually have a, like, built right now with, like, play sets of rears, like, an and old, like... War of the Spark standard um, Merfolk deck. It was actually my uh, new player rare trap where I kind of messed up and put rares into the wrong thing. That that was where I messed up back in the day. Oh, man, the memories. Um, do we keep this? I don't think so. As nice as these guys are on turn three, I, I don't think we can keep that, man. Fine, we'll keep it. We get rid of Voracious Hydra. I see blue and black. I, uh, honestly, Voracious Hydra might be good against their commander. Um, no, it has to be. Because I think I need Veil of Summer and Chandra so bad. Because I, I, I always think about the card advantage game up against these guys. Thank you for growing old with me there, by the way, as always. I'm going Shaper Sanctuary before Elysian Caryatid because... Um, I'm sorry, but I just feel like it dies. Okay, I think we're probably getting aggroed on here, probably a little. I think we're going to have to try to invest to save that. Okay, that's pretty incredible. Do we play our commander here? We might lose it. Chandra might be pretty good. Because I think we could go after Champion of the Parish and do a pretty good job there. I'm the best fire starter there is. And then we can protect Chandra with the um, Elysian Caryatid. Oh, it has freaking decayed. Okay, well, scratch that. All right, I won't be able to protect Chandra. Right, they have that. Okay, fine. So they get the swing in. Fine. Fine. Guess you don't need me anymore. Oh boy. We kind of needed the land there. Unfortunately, we kind of really needed the land there. We might just want to make the uh the token here. We can use it to block the five three. Maybe it lives because it would only take three damage from the three four. We will stomp out the Maybe not. I I would have really liked the uh the land or the uh land for the Veil of Summer. I'd feel a little bit better because then we'd actually get a block most likely, or uh maybe they couldn't even kill it. They're looking at it like they might. But yeah, this is pretty cool because you win permanence you control. Game for um hexproof from blue and from uh red, or uh, blue and black. <laughs> oh, yeah, duh. Sorry. Um. <clears throat> Yeah, honestly, I if I'm going to face Demir here, I'm kind of happy for it to be against, uh, yeah, zombies, not even going to lie. So they didn't want to risk their commander there. That's smart of them. Okay, now we have, um, we have Tamiyo's safekeeping. As a matter of fact, I kind of want to drop Oracle of Muldaya. Because I, I really want those lands, man. We don't freaking get it. Um, pass turn. We've got Tamios paid for by the Caryatid. <clears throat> I won't save Oracle. If they go after the Caryatid, it seems highly unlikely. I don't know why, 
but we'll probably just spend the mana right now to keep the 4-4 token safe. <clears throat> and create that many 2-2 zombie tokens with decayed. So they could do that two times. They, ch they opt to not do it one time. Okay. Um, maybe they attack with the 4-5? They don't even attack with the 4-5. All right, we now have a big token. Um, what do I do here? What the hell do I do here? Do we maybe do this and see what we get? I kind of like it. Come on, baby, resolve. Come on, baby, that's a lot of card advantage. Counter target spell. Oh, God, we got the Veil of Summer. Spells you control can't be countered this turn. Oh, oh, no. Oh, God. All right, well, we get that, which is incredible. We'll go ahead and drop this one now, because we only have till next turn. Um, all right, we'll go ahead and uh, do we... Um, I We probably want to uh, somehow kill that. Can we do it? I don't think so. Um, what am I going to do here? How am I going to do this, man? How am I going to do this? I could play this. I think that's pretty good. Um, and maybe we go ahead and minus this and fling it at them and draw a lot of cards. I think we'll, I think we'll go ahead and, uh, fling Boo at them at this point, right? I, I think that's probably the best thing to do. Draw four cards. I think we have to. No attacks. Because they have the flyer now. I couldn't figure out how to, uh, I don't know. Maybe I screwed up. Maybe I should have done plus on the on Boo and then fought it against that. Honestly, I might have screwed up there. Not even going to lie. I mean, either way, we do have a lot of cards going on here. Like, something we have is honestly dropping Fiery Emancipation and just burning them down with Clothis. Fiery Emancipation, and then the, whenever the next time we get this is... Um, go ahead and uh, block that, I think. I don't see why not. Yeah, okay, so I screwed that up there. I probably should have just flung at this. That, that was my bad. Um, or Cal the ambushed it. My bad, sorry. Um, yeah, we'll take that out of their graveyard. It's always good to take stuff out of Demir's graveyard, so. Cool. Um, we did that. Let's go ahead and drop one. And not that. Two. Um, how are we going to do this? Probably um, Fire Emancipation. Straight up. Now Clothis is a creature. Um, so now we... Do we do Sarith? Um, I don't know if we do Sarith here. Um, maybe Toski. Uh, maybe hold open the county Ambush even. Um, but we're attacking, I think. Um, with only Clothis, I think. Because they probably want to block that. Because otherwise we um, maybe do good stuff to them. Uh, okay. Um, I think before they draw another card, maybe we'll fight this. Um, no, let's wait until they're out. Let's wait till right here. All right, end the turn. Because um, I when they make a zombie token because that thing dies... Um, yeah, it might be better. Um, but they might be able to win right now, though, which kind of sucks. That's probably uh, about it. That kind of sucks. All right, so um, each creatures of the chosen type get plus one. They probably win here, unfortunately. I cannot see us winning. Um, let's see. Do they have anything that doesn't have trample? All right, decayed, fine. So we block our hearts out, and then we actually probably win if if they can't get like trample on their stuff. So pass. Um, wait, did I lose my count the ambush? Wait, I'm, I'm sorry. Where did my county ambush go? Did I screw up there? I, I must have missed something, honestly. I must have freaking missed something. Um, like a goofy goober. Um, but... I must have missed something. I must have done something silly there. Just for the maximum chances of actually surviving, we'll just gain the two life here. I, I must have missed something. I'm sorry about that. I don't know what happened. Yeah, I think it's probably Inferno for the next turn. It can't be countered. 
And Clothis is going to deal them six damage here. Yep, Moonwatch, you're, uh, you're absolutely right. Uh, yep. That will be Inferno for the win here. All right. What's the last card in their hand? Oh, Kalni was exiled. Oh, God, stupid. Okay, so I snoozed and I lose like a poo-poo. All right, thank you, Moonwatcher. Thank you. I was kind of uh, struggling like there. All right. Yeah, Inferno's going to hit. I'm not even going to bother because it's 18 right there. But yeah, we could have given it uh, three, six more damage and gotten them down to negative uh, 29 in total. All right, <laughs> my bad with the uh, escape to wilds. I'm sorry, first time I freaking casted the spell. There's my excuse, okay? <laughs> I can't learn from when other people do it. I can, I, I'm going to have to screw it up for myself a few times. I'll get it, but thanks for the... Uh, yeah, thank you. Mmm. Olivin Walled Oddity. Can't stay away. Grease Fang card. I, I love the art, though. Not going to lie. I think a whole bunch of kitties, right? <laughs> that's, a, that's a really nice one. Really cool art. <clears throat> Man. I'm liking Fiery Emancipation here. It's really in here because it's so, like, good with tramplers, you know? Like, they have, they really have to block your thing. Because, you know, like, if a 4-4 four, four attacks in at, like, you know, and they block it with a 3-3, three, three, then they'll only take the 3 damage with Fiery Emancipation down. But if they don't block it, and they take 4 damage multiplied to 12, it just, it gets so big so fast, and they're probably going to lose their creature, too. I'm going to keep this only because we have two rampers. We go first, also. And I don't want to start losing um, cards. Inscription of Abundance won't even be terrible once we get Boo, because we'll probably get a good fight on something. I love how one of the kitties doesn't mind the ghost. Yep, yep, the one on the right. Hell yeah, man. I like that kitty. He's hungry. Time for food. Uh, okay. Um, well, nevertheless... um. Hopefully we can just drop Armored Scrap Gorger Swing for one whole entire damage and start winning the game. Cool avatar here. Okay, we will not be attacking. Hajar is good, but um, Scrap Gorger gives us the possibility of our commander. Should our dork survive and we top deck a land. Hajar and having a fight isn't horrible either. This guy's going goblin. Interesting. Cool, man. Nice. Okay. Okay. Nice. Yeah, man. All right. All right. We're kind of uh, chugging along now. That uh, was a nice start. Definitely with two ramps, but... Uh, or not ramps. Whatever. Dorks. Whatever. But uh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, man, that sucks. I mean, it's good that we can go Domri's Ambush on uh, Hajar to their um, Grumgully. That's good. No attacks. We just tread water for a turn. Oh, God, they got that. That's annoying. We have to hit... Uh... Do we hit Heroic Intervention? We hit Inscription... Or we hit Heroic Intervention right now. All right, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, and it enters untapped. Oh, the dream. Love to see it. Love, truly love to see it. No attacks. We are protecting Minsk and Boo. And we can do that by sacrificing Hajar. Legendary creatures we control get plus one, plus zero, and gain indestructible until end of turn. This is a legend. Oh, there we go. We did that. 
little mana screwed too, but fortunately, I guess he was uh, removal screwed. Well, I mean, not really. We, we kind of did just heroic intervention on one. We actually had some nice layers of defense there. Hajar and a heroic intervention. Hell, I mean, even the Inscription of Abundance can be defensive if you, uh, you know, use the two counters. Yeah, we could have done that too, but I wanted to have the um, the flexibility of Inscription, inscription of, of Abundance available. Get a nice fight on pretty much anything with our uh, hamster growing. Um, no. Fine. I think I think I can keep this honestly. I think the trick is to do. Um, no, we won't be able to do Arnie slays the troll. Um, turn two, unless we draw an untapped red. It could be good because even though we'll be missing out on the fight, chapter two adding a um, a mountain would give us a Chandra. So yeah, the untapped red is the dream right now. Okay. Huh. <sighs> I mean, at least it's a, a dork that we can afford. So let's hope for uh, no anger of the gods. If it's anger of the gods, we're pretty screwed. Solemn simulacrum, fine. Do we plus Chandra or do we minus it on this? We probably want to minus it, honestly. Because, um, yeah, this has five, so yeah, we'll just do that. They'll draw a card. It's annoying, but I think it's the right thing to do here. Even if they kill both of our creatures now, if Chandra lives and it isn't the wipe that like also hits Planeswalkers. All right, we're gonna lose two cards here. It's gonna be Zopendrell and um, Zopendrell and probably Tailswipe, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, Zopendrell and Tailswipe. I think Arnie Slays the Troll is maybe slightly better than Tailswipe. Very, very good to get the land there. Thank the goodness gracious heavens, boys and girls. Um, we're going to do this. We might be able to get a nice play, um, a nice amount of land with Selvala here. Hell yeah, Lana. Nice to have you. Oh, I'm doing good, Lana. I get to do this. I'm, I'm having a good time. Check. Oh my god, Lana. I'm going to get so much value out of my, um, out of my Minskin Boo here. Uh, oh, I mean out of my Selvala. Because now I get Chandra down. Oh my god, I, I just got so much value out of Chandra. I'm so cool. God, I'm so cool. Um, and you know what? We're going to attack because that really does only have one power. Alright, they even blocked with it. They opt not to because it has Trample. They probably just noticed that. Oh god, hope you're doing well, Lana too. Nice to have you. Thank you for stopping by. Oh, I have I have double Chandra and I have Minsk and Boo. Oh, I'm happy. I'm really... Okay, now I'm not happy anymore. If we get a land, it's not the worst thing in the world. We could get... um. Okay. All right. Um, how are we going to do this? Probably Elvish Mystic. Should I do this and not fight? Yes. I No. Cankerbloom. Cankerbloom's okay. That's terrible. Damn. Yeah, because we're mana poo-pooed. Three isn't good, man. That River's Rebuke definitely did. Oh, my God. He got Lord Xander. Christ Almighty. Discard three cards in my hand that's that's an atrocity um that's an absolute atrocity discard one card in my hand yeah fuck it we're not playing yeah oh god dude right because he has panharmonic on and that's an enter the battlefield effect yeah right 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 i'm like what i already thought i paid my uh tithe to lord xander Oh man, that was that was brutal, man. Brutal, man. Oh, that three lands. We actually did kind of all right with our dorks very fortunately sticking on the field. Calm before the storm.
God, yeah, rebuke. It's it's hard, man. It's hard. Um, as for it shouldn't have a board wipe. Oh man, you know, I feel like if it's gonna have a board wipe, then at least sending stuff back to our hand is more in line with what it does anyway. Than like, you know, how they just had that new um saga come out for blue, or maybe it was Dominaria United, whatever. And um, I think like phasing of Zalfir or something like turn three, it destroys like creatures. Like I think the first two phases doesn't it, like phase things out or something. Um, honestly, we have a halfway decent start here. I mean, if that L Elvish Mystic lives to turn three, it's paying for Minsk and Boo with this. That's super good, to be honest. And then we have Inscription of Abundance. We have Vivian, because we're going to be emptying out our hand pretty fast. Vivian could replace it. They're playing Dragon, so Vivian's minus three. It's going to be useful. Last turn. If they deal Elvish Mystic two damage, I think I might use Inscription of Abundance to give it plus one plus one counters. The air is sweet. No attacks. I mean, honestly, I probably could have. Dragon Lord Servant does really only have one power. All right, what? Whatever. I, I should have done it. I'm sorry. You're right. Well, actually, if he has a lightning bolt, he could both bolt and then deal one damage. So, okay, whatever. Still feel like a wimp. Whatever. I doubt the commander comes down now since it revives um dragons. Well, um, we're probably bolting that, and we'll see exactly how unhappy about that they are. Because um, my guess is big unhappy. We will stomp out evil. We have enough to not only bolt this right now, but then next turn, Inscription of Abundance kicked on whatever the hell they play. Because we have five freaking mana. I Do I go Vivian Reed? Honestly, I'm ready to kick the crap out of whatever they drop down now. Inscription of Abundance kick, dude. We have the five mana. We can make Boo a freaking 9-9, nine, nine, fight something. And then next turn, like, attack it at them and then fling it at them and win. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. He's gonna he's just gonna concede. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, poor guy. We we just had what we need. For the record, oh, he's got a cool name. It, it looks like something that a dragon would say. Oh, boy. Man, that thing will get freaking explosive, man, if they can't contend with it. We we got really fortunate there to have the, the perfect open into the turn three Minsk and Boo. That's, that's insane. Oh, God, I could never play blue, says Lana Berry. And, you know, I've actually been longing for, like, something like blue creature deck would be really cool, I think. Not even too controly, Maybe bouncy, because it is blue, like, bounce their stuff or something. I don't know. Then maybe have, like, double-sided bounces where, like, for very cheap, we can like, remove something or return something they control to their hand and we control to our hand. And then, like, our things have entered the battlefield abilities or something. I don't know. I've just always wanted to play a blue creature deck, but... Not really known what to do about that. Do I listen? No, I don't. I I don't have anything against Ice Spice. I don't know who it is. Um, do I? Hmm. 
I don't think I can take this. It just... I don't have any counter stuff for branching evolution until the commander, which we'd, we'd play on turn five right now. Oh, man. Oh, man. You guys. It's it's making me... You guys, it, it's, it's making me freaking mulligan down to six and go first, and I didn't want to mulligan down to five, and I probably should have, but you know what? Next game is an, is the next game. Yep, Simic big stuff indeed. Simic big ETB. Oh boy, cool cosmetic style by the way. Let's get a let's get a little uh, 360 there a few times. Let's just, uh, go around that one. Uh, honestly, whatever. At least it uh, gives us Chandra next turn. Should it be safe enough on the battlefield? It gives us Voracious Hydrax equals two, which is what we'll do now that we see that. Yeah, the it hurts. It hurts, Lana Berry. It hurts. But we did what we had to do, and as of this immediate second, it's working out mildly okayly. Um, we'll see what happens, though, because they're going to drop their commander, and I'm not thrilled with that. Okay, they didn't drop their commander. They dropped something that I've never read. Oh, I hate reading. Oh, man. I have to give them either Ravenous... Uh, you know what? Maybe we'll do... Um, yeah, let's do that, because they'll, they'll take the Panharmonicon. So maybe I should have put the land with the Ravenous Chupacabra. Yeah, I, okay, I messed up giving them the land there. Whatever, I'm sorry. Um, we have Vivian Reed to destroy Panharmonicon. How am I going to do this, man? I probably play Vivian Reed. Um, Chandra might be okay here, honestly. Chandra might be okay, because we need the freaking land is why. I need the freaking land. And if it ha if we luck out and we get a red land here, and we don't, no attacks. But yeah, we could have dropped the mountain and played Lightning Bolt, or at least held it open. I think I probably would have played it there since they were uh, tapped out so much. Alright. Alright. All right, dude. All right, man. I I get it. Christ off. No, pisses me off, dude. Genuinely freaking pisses me off. Honestly, at least we did anything at all with that card. So I should probably count my blessings because we could have done absolutely nothing. <clears throat> Nobody tells me what to do. Uh, do I have to target the opponent? There's no. There's only one target. It's so weird how inconsistently it targets only targets, and then like sometimes it doesn't. It's just so weird. All right, they're filling up their hand with creatures with value six or greater that are gonna. Oh boy. Yeah. I... <laughs> Oh, we we just we just ground to a halt for too long. We're we're yeah. God, dude. No problem. Fire can't solve. Oh God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can drop Sarath there. It, it unfortunately gives other creatures Hexproof and Trample, so it's just like a naked 4-4. Four, four. It's just... I'm sorry, but the way that they're set up, and the way that we are, unfortunately, it's not going to be good. Oh, boy, and we actually got a really nice card there. That all-will-be-one card is... Um, actually doing really nice. I have gotten that out two times today, and both times I have used it to disastrous effect. So if you haven't seen the uh, beginning of the stream, I know pe know some people, uh, you know, go in and out. Um, it it's probably worth checking it out. Like, that all will be one card, the new five-cost enchantment from the uh, Phyrexia set. should check it out. I, I used it pretty darn well. And we didn't even break it or anything. It's just such good synergy with this thing. 
Um, it's the one that, um, what's it say? Like, whenever you put, whenever I put any counters on anything, that enchantment deals that much damage to um, any, like, you know, opponent source. It actually lists out target opponent, target creature and opponent controls, or target planeswalker and opponent controls. I don't know necessarily why it does that. It's mildly interesting, I'm kind of curious. Um, Tiamat, okay, so maybe we'll, um... Maybe we'll do Oracle of Moldiah here and try to get a land. I, I think that would be the dream. Eh, we don't get it. All right. Um, I, I still think we want to hit the uh, Scaled Nurturer with... Um, maybe... Vi oh, you know what? Yep, absolutely. Because um, we need all the freaking lands we can get right now, baby. Um, let's do uh, this one. Close your eyes. Listen to the sounds of the wild. All right, it'd be very nice if that went through. All right, they create a treasure token, so you know, okay, okay, yeah. Um, and we'll go ahead and attack with only that, acting like we have anything at all to do with the um one mana from Reclusive. So we turn this one's consistent green mana into one anytime use any mana, whatever. We still have Oracle on the field. That's good. Hey, okay, that's really good. Um, when it dies, they get to a... Is it search for a land card or, like, seek it? Search for a land card. Okay, we just got the dream there with that one. Not even going to lie. Um, they'll probably want that to die, so I think we'll go ahead and... Um, just let them block with it. His words... Uh, let's go ahead and uh, attack, I think. I don't think we really need to um, Domri's ambush it. I Wow, I'm actually shocked that they didn't do anything about that. Um, do I Domri ambush that? You know what? I don't think so, honestly. Um, let's just go Hajar, because it can give the legendary creatures indestructible. So we do have uh, that at a nice uh, power and toughness right now. If we lose the Planeswalkers, we can uh, replay our commander. We're blocking that with Hajar. Um, do we block that with Hajar? No. They could be they could be board wiping. We block it with that. It's done enough now. That doesn't even die, and now it's tapped, so it can't block to die. We still have Hajar to save uh, the token should they wipe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You got to wake up earlier in the morning to fool this one. Thank you. Thank you. Their thing still dies. Whatever. Oracle was going to die anyway. We saved this. We won. Because we deal them... Um, we give it counters with Vivian. We deal them nine damage, and then we um, sacrifice it and deal them another nine. So they're going to need, like... Tamiyo safekeeping just for the two life or somehow make it to... I, they've got to do something real good with that mana there. Um, I'd get out of the way if I were you. Unfortunately, I have to sit here and go through their graveyard really fast. Nothing personal. And Knock the evil right out of death. Oof. Man. I mean the poor guy had three lands. We're not sitting here going we're the biggest, strongest men in the universe. We're I mean let's let's be real, Oracle of Moldiah. We we have it slotted into our library and we drew it, so it, it definitely helped here. Like, what do we get? We I think we got two or three lands off the top. So like, he wasn't super mana screwed, but he was. Um, <clears throat> but we had Oracle of Muldai, and our mana dork stuck on the field to cast it on turn uh, three. Oh man, Hajar there, huh? Hajar giving his life so that we would just win the next turn. Preserving the 6-6 six, six, boo. Huge already. Well, big. About to get huge. 9-9. Nine, nine. I would say 6-6 six, six is big. I think 9-9 nine, nine is starting to get huge. <clears throat> oh, 
Wow, we did it. We did it. We sniffed out the board wipe uh, shenanigan. We did it. We did it. Oh, we did it. Oh boy, Feather. That's really good. Um, is Feather three or four tough? It's freaking four tough to- ah! Um, okay, I'm calm. Uh, we're gonna go first. Yeah, let's, uh, let's keep seven. Um, let's drop this one. We might go, um, Arnie slays the troll with nothing on the field next turn just for the, uh, mana. If we top deck a land, I'm gonna do that. Um, wait, when would I have to do that? Hang on, drop two, and then this, and then the next turn I would have three plus four. Yeah, okay, I couldn't do that. Um, so let's uh, go ahead and uh, drop this one, pay two life. And the Signet is actually such a phenomenal top deck there, especially since we still have opened the Lightning Bolt. That was actually about as good of a top deck as it could have been. Pretty, uh, pretty psychotic there, not even gonna lie. Um, yep, so with that done, we do this, Branching Evolution. We're going to make it very difficult to deal with that hamster token. <laughs> Must you have something to do about that? It can get lightning bolted before we use the ability because it puts something on the stack. So fortunately, we're getting the ability off. We're getting six plus one plus one counters on that. It'd be very nice if that didn't get Reckless Raged. Because then... Oh, it doesn't. Okay, so now it's going to be a lot harder for them to go after it. Alright, yeah, they're probably going to be able to power up Feather and go after our commander. So I don't see us doing a lot here. So if our boy doesn't die... Alright, let's we'll see what we top deck. But that's pretty much it, honestly. It, it, it basically just fell apart that, that simply. <laughs> yeah, now they get plus one. Tramp... We're... Yeah. I mean, we have, like, what? We have Lightning Bolt on that, which is pretty good. Oh, they actually do have the uh, the white mana there, so yeah, we're pretty much screwed here. Run yeah, we don't freaking have anything to do. Uh, alright, let's see. Um, we'll do this. Alright, that actually goes through, which is pretty incredible, to be perfectly honest. I think Sarath is alright here. Maybe I should have done Arnie just so that next turn we would get the uh, the red, actually, so we could play this. Maybe that was a mistake. All right, well, let's see if we top deck the land. Because they have a huge life total too. We're either gonna be dead next turn or the turn after. Um, I don't know if it's, it, I mean, I guess we have to do Frog Hemoth, right? I don't see what, really what else to do here. Gains us a little life if we remove a, a creature. They have one. I think we only attack with that. Sadly, we won't be able to remove the things that they keep bringing back to their hand, because I think that happens at their end step. Uh, yes, yeah, just past the turn. Yep, resolve all. You know what's unfortunate about Feather is that it resolves those spells. If they wound up in your graveyard and then, like, at the end step you got them back or, you know, what freaking whenever, um, that would at least make it accessible to your opponent's instant speed graveyard removal. All right, we're going to try to Arnie Slays the Troll, their commander, I think.
if we get Minsk and Boo, um, resolve all, sorry, we could actually, um, like, send Frog Hemoth in after them and then, um, maybe sacrifice it. I think we could try that, honestly. Oh, it gains lifelink and indestructible until end of turn. Okay, so I don't really know what we would do here, to be perfectly honest. Um, we're probably just dead. How much does this cost? Um, this costs two. They don't have that. Um, so we do get this down. Hey, let's see if they have a uh, one mana um, save for Feather here. Do we get the fight? If they try to... Uh, oh, man, come on, man. And gains, I see indestructible there. Oh, man, damn it. Damn it, that really sucks. That really sucks, man. Because um, I can't really attack now, right? Because then I just lose the only thing I have. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, unfortunately. Um, we could use this. Uh, you know what? Let's do it, honestly. Because what we're going to do is we're going to um, give it indestructible just so that we can seek a creature card. Just so that we could decrease the odds of having a creature card in our graveyard. Increase the odds of getting the land, which is what we need. But all they have to do is deal us... Oh, wait, yeah. When they when yeah, they get the plus one, plus one counter, shoot. Whenever you cast a spell this turn, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature you control. Yeah, I think they'll probably just play a bunch of uh, spells and win. And they're taking forever, so we'll just say good game because they, they're they uh, waiting and they're, they're just f figuring out which ones to do, but they still have to sit here uh, and have us wait through like three or four casts, you know, and then they'll attack and then they'll play the last one just before combat damage. So we'll just get out of there because it's probably going to take them a minute to win the game. <laughs> Yeah, he has that, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It, I thought that that was Chapter 3. I forgot that it's Chapter 2 and 3 that they can use all those spells and get the counters. All right. <clears throat> Good game. I think we had a little bit of a chance, a little bit more of a chance than I usually have against Feather. Because I just don't have, like, the black kill spells to, like, remove him when I see him, you know? Like, all the black instants to just sit there and instant speed kill him, and then when they try to protect it, just instant speed kill again. We, we can't keep this one. Christ almighty, dude. Fine. We have to get rid of Vorinclex. It's a luxury that we don't have. Um, that's honestly probably Cal the Ambush. All right, we get uh, this thing into this thing, which is, which is good. Next turn, we uh, drop this and play Ozolith. And we would still have the uh, potential Lightning Bolt. We'll see if Armored Scrap Gorger either even survives the turn. Even if it doesn't, we still do the same thing. All right, they lost Cathartic Pyre. That gives them a discard two, draw two thing. So, hey, we'll take it. We'll take it, right? Last turn, real fast. They don't even know we have Lightning Bolt. Alright, Midnight Clock. So, if they don't have a Spell Pierce, hopefully we resolve Chandra. Be nice. So, please, pretty please, let me resolve Chandra. All right, that one kind of sucks to lose. Not going to lie. There's plenty of other cards, of course, but yeah, that one, you know, <laughs> we could have played it. All right, they still have two mana very conspicuously open as they make a huge pause. Okay. Uh, what's going on with this one? They still have one freaking mana open. They still have freaking one mana open. I don't want that. Um, 
We're going to try to kill that right now. Uh, do we? We would have to go Chandra plus get a red source. I'm going to do it. I'm going to try it. Come on, give me the red. Oh, beautiful. Because then now next turn we have our land drop too. I figured I would do that before they untap. I mean, I could, I could, what I could have also done is waited until, you know, as late in this turn as possible and then do it just so that they would, you know, maybe counter that. But since I saw it, it has that freaking, um, where the hell did it go? Oh, it's their commander, right? Yeah, because it reduces the cost of, like, instants and sorceries. They're very, very, oh, so extremely obviously holding open counters for our commander. Oh, so extremely stupid obvious, so. We'll try to pressure them with this card. We'll see if we can get that. Vivian Arcbow Ranger? Yeah, we're going for it. And as a matter of fact, I'll drop this just so that if they have, um, you know, destroyed unless we pay two. Alright, Geek. Yeah, I know. I, oh, man. <laughs> Should I, I mean, that's really good, but I don't have a lot of counters. Oh, man. He knew I was going to counter? Oh, my God. Yeah, he sat there, blue player pass turn totally open instead of casting their commander that they can obviously cast. Uh, it's like, wow, man. All right, not going to lie, it's pretty good that he also sent that back to our hand. Andrew cards. Now, I was very much considering using Beseju to um, get at that midnight clock, but I, I just really wanted to um, at least ha give that spell the best chance of uh, resolving. Okay, they'll still have four mana here, which is not enough to play their commander. But enough for big counters like Rewind, you know. Counter target spell and tap all land tree control. That's really good. They still got three mana. Yep, that's enough to counter. Well, we're going for uh we're going for Chandra again. Let's see if they counter it. It's card advantage against control, so that's why I keep on casting it. I feel like the the counter, the, the commander just gets countered. I don't know. Do, do we think, even though that resolved, they have enough uh, mana for pretty much any counter target spell? We actually get that, which is really cool, because I'm dropping this now. We actually have something on the field. That was actually a really nice Chandra there. If we get Rivers Rebuked, it's super annoying, but at least we have a decent amount of cards. Their Midnight Clock is getting up there in uh, counters, but uh, the Hellbreaker Horror sucks. That freaking sucks, because they have two uh, things open there. So that, yeah, that really sucks. All right, Domri's Ambush. Um, let's take this off the... Uh, do we take that off the top, or do we exile it with Chandra and play it? I think we take it off the top. Yeah, okay, because, uh, uh, I mean, it, it kind of sucks to lose that, but I, I think maybe getting that off the top is the best here. No problem. Fire can't solve. Um, let's go ahead and uh, do this. I hate you. I mean, the guy probably wins. I don't see how we're going to combat uh, that thing once they untap. Um, I mean, Canker Bloom is arguably pretty good here. Whatever we get here is going to actually uh, hit the field and stuff. Honestly, Froggy Myth might be good because we can really pressure their uh, their thing here. Um, we might get uh, we might get fight ringing off here. We have to do this, I think. Um, do we do that? Because uh, it doesn't really. It doesn't work till later on. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do it because it has first strike. So if that connects, then, uh, you know, it can actually swing in. I guess that doesn't really matter, to be honest. Looks like they'll probably play something. Um, and then Chandra dies, and they just counter everything. So I honestly, I think we're pretty much done here. They're, they're just going to counter all our stuff. Midnight Clock is almost 10 or 12. They can make it 12 next turn if they want. They can draw with this. They can draw with a uh, Wizard Class. I think we're just about done here. So let's just, let's just leave. Because they have huge draws coming up. There's really no sense in doing that. 
Chandra is about to die at six loyalty to their seven eight. So, well, we did a nice job killing their commander that one time, but unfortunately, they were able to stall until they got Hullbreaker Horror out, and uh, and there's the game because <laughs> they got it out with mana untapped behind it. Oof. Yeah, that was, uh, man, that was it. Teferi, who slows the sunset with an Oko avatar. Five, four, three, two. Yep, bye-bye. Not even, not even a little bit. <laughs> you kidding? Guy has no respect. Oh, man. I Man, I wanted to do a little bit against that a little bit more against that is it commander, man. Ah, uh, it stinks that he got the Hullbreaker horror with mana behind it. I don't know if we would have been able to kill it if we could have like done some trick with like Minskin Boo and like, you know, like sacrificing creatures or whatever. Do I try this? I'm going to try it because Goblin and Archimancer isn't bad. We don't have getting to our commander right in our hand, but like one mana dork, one... Th uh, yeah, there you go. That's pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and drop that so that... um Yes. I guess it doesn't really matter. I probably won't play a Goblin and Archimancer next turn. We have the ring. Yeah, you know what? I think Goblin and Archimancer is the right one here, honestly. Because then, um, next turn, we can do, um, land Arcane Signet into Rhythm of the Wild. Uh, what is this? Yeah. If a creature died this turn, that thing has an ability. If a creature died this turn. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Here we go. <laughs> Let's get uh, this down. And then should I keep up the uh, the scale shield? Um, Should I do, like, uh, hardened scales and um, this? Should I keep this up? Um, honestly, I'm just going to do these two things. It's it's good tech to have on the field right now. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should have attacked with that honestly, since they have death touch and lifelink. I I think I should have done that. That thing comes back from the graveyard. They probably have uh, cards that make us both sacrifice or something, along the lines of braids, innocent blood. Um, th that's going to be good to uh, destroy their thing there. Um, but then it probably dies, so um, maybe we just go Minsk and Boo here, I think. I think they might be ready to kill it. But honestly. And I are ready to um, we can sacrifice it right now and kill their uh, commander. Um, should I do that? I think so. Uh, yeah, I. I. Do I? I kind of think so. Because I don't want to have them uh, just uh, kill it on their own next turn. We don't get any value out of it. Come on, sacrifice it to your own thing. Does that make it come back? What, what was that? When this creature dies, return it. Yeah, okay. So, um, our commander's dead, unfortunately, at one. So I will we'll not block. Um, yeah, that's silly. Um, uh, very unfortunate, but um, nevertheless, if Goblin um, and Archimancer can stay around, um, what do we do, man? Paradise Druid, and then hold the Scale Shield here. I'm kind of feeling that, and this is actually re what a great top deck there. Um, let's go ahead and I mean we have a lot of green. 
but I'm kind of feeling a source of red just in case we happen upon a double red, like a Chandra or something. Oh, wait, we have a uh, Arcane Signet. Okay, not going to lie, the, uh, the the freaking application is a... Uh, come on, man. Uh, you know what? No, let's get a red, because if we lose our Signet, I'm going to wish that I had uh, a second source of red. All right, so we, we do that. Um, it finally... Uh, Jesus Christ, this frame rate is uh, psychotic. We do this. We get this down with two plus one plus one counters. Um... And we have the uh, the scale shield there. Pass turn. That's good. It's a pretty good body there. Holy god, this freaking... Well, I'm going to unplug and uh, plug in the power source. Maybe that'll uh, change there. Oh my gosh. Wow, man. All right. But um, yeah, it's really nice to have the Ozolith, uh, Hardened Scales, and Rhythm of the Wild. Because at least we can get some counters on everything. And if they die, we... Uh, Preserve them with uh, with the uh, Ozolith here. Let me bring that up. That's a pretty nifty thing there. When it dies, return it to the battlefield tapped under its owner's control. Okay, what are they going to do here? Doom Scar! Oh, thank you! <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Gotta wake up earlier in the morning, man. You gotta. E Oof. Man, boy, oh boy, we did that one, didn't we? Frame rate looks a little better, maybe. We'll see how long that lasts. Oh, a fifth, sixth copy is in another Topiary Stomper. Unlicensed hearse. There you go. All right, hey, Arca. My gems. My one tenth of a pack. Let's go. Wow. That dude conceded to the failed board wipe. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Uh, as much as I love seeing All Will Be One here, by the way, really cool card. I uh, got to use it twice today, both times to good effect, if you haven't seen that. If you have, sorry that you've probably heard that me say that like three times already. Um, we'll keep seven here. We have to. Um, you know, we are going to drop Lanoir Elves. There, there was an argument to not drop it because we didn't uh, have, uh, you know, this turn three without the stomping ground. Or turn two. Whatever turn it is. I think it's a... Uh, huh. Huh. It, but this isn't too good right now. So, honestly... Paradise Druid. Actually, two really good top decks. So good that I wound up not even really needing the first. Uh, Vivian can go ahead and blow that up, or Chandra can go ahead and blow that up. I like Vivian. Yeah, we're taking away their, uh, we're taking away their ramp. Oh, it lives. It lives. Do they have a Tamios? All right. At least, wait, it didn't enter with a... If it's a spirit, put a plus one, plus one counter. I was like, okay, all right, all right, that's why. All right. They got three mana. They use Prosperous and Keeper, gives them a treasure token. They have two mana. Into the... Wow. Okay, so they're going to have a land here. We're going to want to try at this again, Chandra. I believe that's it, right? Let's start with Vivian. Plus, see what we get here. You can't stop nature. Uh, okay. Um, why don't we go ahead and just grab the forest? Uh, are we going to need that? Honestly, yes, because I would like maybe my... Because I want Chandra to live through next turn. So we're going to drop this. That way we don't need to, uh, lose any blockers casting this. Minus three. I think I will use my, uh... Do I use them uh, to block, or do I cast Armored Scrap Gorger? I think I, I might use them to block, because Chandra's just really good. Chandra plus is for two mana, right? All right, well, we lose one of them. All right, honestly, we'll plus Vivian uh, this coming turn, and then minus her the next turn before they return to our creature Planeswalker. Yep. Block Vivian all day with both because of exactly what I just said. We need to be able to plus her to four, 
minus her three at to kill this. Yeah. Um. So we do this. Up. Oh, shit. You know what? I probably should have Vivian for something. I was honestly thinking that I would just drop like Kodama. Meet my newest friend. Um. I think. Uh. Eh, I think Lenoir Loam Speaker is that good? Yeah. Honestly, it's pretty good because we could just do uh two mana dorks here. I mean, argue, I probably honestly should have plussed Vivian before this, right? So that I could get down Minsk and Boo. Alright, that basically gave them one free draw, but it also gave them uh, Elspeth Conquer's death. That's annoying. Uh, but nevertheless, if all they got out of it is Prosperous Innkeeper, very, they didn't drop their commander. Probably because we have Vivian. Uh, I would imagine he's scared. Good. Yeah, good. You didn't like that? Good. I, did, did he mess up there? Uh, was he missing red? No, he, he has all of his colors. This just has to be the red. Or, sorry, no, it's not even red. For some reason, I thought it was five color. <laughs> sorry, I don't know why. Okay, uh, yeah. We did it. We did it. Man. Not gonna lie, that's too bad that all he got out of that time warp was a freaking uh, Prosper Sinkeeper on the field. Oof. Oof, not bad. You know, I want another I want another fiery emancipation today, man. Man. God, dude, I'm I'm not freaking twice in a row with you garbage cans. You're all the freaking same. Sorry, man. It's just it's just homogenous. Come on, man. Is there some sort of matchmaking protection from constantly making me? F I like. I know that a lot of people are playing it, but I, I did my time, man. I paid my debt to society. I didn't just auto concede against the last one, and you gotta punish me for that shit. Typical bad boss, man. Right? You do what you're supposed to do. You just get more freaking work. I played my game against the Traxa, man. I settled my debt with society. Did my time. God. Thank you. Uh, mm, no. Damn it. Damn it, dude. Fine. We're, we're mulliganing. No, if we had red, then maybe, because this can get us a land off the top of our library. One piece of ramp would be actually dreamy with this. Even if we had only greens, if it was like, you know, add any mana. God, dude. Fine, I'm going to mulligan. I'm going to take an actual rare mulligan down to five. It's the right thing to do. I, le I lose fiery emancipation and... Is it Arnie slays the troll? Or it's probably Naith, honestly. I think we need to get our commander down that bad. Um, let's drop this one first. That's honestly not terrible. I might play that next turn because then, um, it gives us an extra turn to, like, actually draw a land. This, this, this destroys target permanent, that's, uh, yeah. So we're gonna have to fight that with Bloated Contaminator, um, and then they'll probably just Skrelve it, so we'll probably just have to kill Skrelve, honestly. Um, why don't we go ahead, drop that on green, and I think, actually, at this point, Oracle of Muldai is the best play, because we could get lucky here. And even if we don't, maybe it survives to, oh, and we do. We do. We do. You know, if we really get the dream, we can drop two lands in this next turn. That's psychotic to uh, expect, but if that happens, I'll do it, right? Let me just hit Skrelf there. I... How much does do? Yeah, everything costs two to foretell. Okay, so we can assume that that's Doomscar. Yeah, don't attack with Skrelf. Don't attack with Skrelf. 
You only attack with Skrelf if you have a... At this point, that, that's that got to be Doomscar, right? Because why are they even considering blocking? Oh, wow, they use Skrelv. So we can do Bloated Contaminator Fight. Oh, that's one. Um, that's not two. Uh, we could do Minsk and Boo. I don't know if that's the best because of this thing. I think we, uh, yeah, actually, now that I think of it, it dies on impact, right? Yeah, it dies on freaking impact. You're tapped out, buddy. This on it has to be that. As much as nice as it would be to get Skrelv. Has to be this, because this destroys our commander on input. Oh, wait. Destroy target thing. That's an artifact, creature, or enchantment. You know what? Whatever. It, it would still kill the... um, Kill the boo token. Which is, I guess, a little bit of cope. But honestly... It's fine. Whatever. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I I'm honestly okay with the move, though. I don't know. Maybe would it have been better to get Skrelv since now I came to my senses and realized this? I, I saw target legendary permanent. Yeah, artifact creature enchantment. Eh, maybe I should have killed Skrelv at that point. Dude was looking for to top deck the land. I think he kept a two lander and it uh, didn't pan out, unfortunately. I think that's what happened. Another rare. Wow. Um, Ovenwald Oddity. Audition. Oh, wow. It's her first? Really? Wow. Such a, like, quintessential Dominaria card for standard. Wow. That's my first one. Wow. Okay. Oh, God, Winota. Oh, boy. Well, we'll make it freaking fast. Does Winota have how much? Four. Okay, so we can't even freaking abrade it. But abrade could be useful for their mana rocks. Um, so keep seven. All right, one mulligan. Please take another. Maybe even two, honestly. I think you should take two. That's a courtesy. All right, he did have to lose a card. Take it. Okay. Okay, I think we probably go um, Paradise Druid here. Since it has Hexproof, and this one actually taps the turn it comes down, so it helps us get a bit more value, we'll do that. Right, they did not get the land drop. They did not... Uh, attention. Attention, they did not get the freaking land drop. Uh, do we do Bard class? Or do we do Branching Evolution? Um, branching Evolution's a little far out. So, Silvala, I think. It might be better. Because we could get a lot of mana, you know? We have six capacity for mana on the field right now. That's actually going to draw them a card, which is really good because, you know, another top deck land, possibly. Kind of stinks. Uh, that's very nice. So we're going to 100 million percent go ahead and do that right quick. Quick. How am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? We have one, two, three, four. I think we get. I think we have to bring Minsk and Boo down. Um, bring Minsk and Boo down. Make the token. Make it huge, and then we'll get more out of Selvala. Um, but then we won't get Branching Evolution. I'm kind of okay with that. I think we need to get this down. Uh, do we kill anything here? No. Just the counters. 
Now Silvala taps for a lot. I think that we can do Bard class and maybe even um, level it up. Or no, Bard class and we'll kill out this, honestly. Uh, how about just destroy target artifact? That way they can't even uh, power it up just by any freakish means. No attack, pass turn. We protect the uh, Planeswalker to the best of our ability. If they drop Winota, they'll still swing at it with Phoenix Chick. Oh, they'll probably swing at it either way. Alright, wow, with that extra um, card, they didn't get their land. There you go. Probably as simple as that there. They would have had to get something really nice with Winota there. And even if they did, we still had a chance, because next turn we were going to get Branching Evolution down. Man, I really want that freaking, uh, I really want that all will be one card again, man. I'm not even kidding. That would actually be great with the, uh, Nissa from Phyrexia as soon as I, uh, freaking get that. It's, <laughs> it's playing hard to get, man. You know what, I'm gonna keep this. We go first, we have two dorks. Right? I think we pretty much have to. Right? Uh, no, I'm not going to Tamiyo safekeeping that. Let's move this one over here. Feeling good about this hand like this. Look at that. It's so beautiful. It's so well organized. Look at that. All right, hardened scales, not terrible. We're going to go ahead and uh, probably hit Paradise Druid here. Since it does have the Hexproof, um, it would help because, you know, if this dies and we don't draw the land, we can't do uh, the other two mana dork plus hardened scales. So, yeah. Hey, you know what? It's a land. It's a land. We take those. Alright, if, 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 of course, everything lives, we get Minskimbu. If we get a land, we get Minskimbu and the protection from Tamiyo's safekeeping. And we'd very much like that because, uh, yeah, they do have a land and a treasure untapped. Well, we're doing this. We will break evil's bones, unless it's bones. No attacks because uh, we're protecting the planeswalker there. I mean, hell, even if they kill the uh, hamster there, you know, they still have to find one more power to get on this guy to actually kill Minsk and Boo. If they can't kill it, we could still, like, you know, just create this again, another, uh, another a fight here. I mean, we're going to look really good here. That's about to swing us a nine. And they're going to be extremely tempted to block with Gitrog Monster. And now this is tapping for two mana. I put this, I had to put this in because it's so easy to get this to four, right? So I had to put this in because it'll tap for two mana now. So we can actually do Inscription of Abundance and Tamios on this thing. Indestructible fight this. I don't, should we Indestructible fight that? I don't know if we should lose Tamio safekeeping because, I mean, it's a, it's a freaking token. Might be better to use Tamio safekeeping on this thing. All right, that's pretty incredible. Um, that's actually really good. Um, how are we going to do this here? Um, wait, if we plus this up, it'll be a 9, and then we'll double its power to an 18. That's not lethal yet. Um, so let's not do that. Um, do I put the counters on it and attack, or do I... Ah, uh, man. Because this could, this could draw us a good amount of cards. I think we put the counters on. Now, am I freaking playing this? Because that would double it to 18. They don't need to block, though. We wouldn't have a Heroic Intervention Tamiyo, so I don't think we do it. They actually did it with Gitrog Monster.
I mean, they have a lot of treasures, but, you know, I mean, that's going to cost them, what, seven? Eh, they, they won't need any of their treasures for that. Uh, but we will be able to just straight fight it. We have the capacity for six mana right now. We could do this, kicked, and, well, okay, fine, sorry, I forgot. Yeah, not heroic intervention. Whatever. Oh, boy. They got one. Oh, boy. I think we'll probably drop this. I want to see. What what number are we going to get? This is going to get four plus one plus one counters up to 13. It'll swing us to 26, 26. That will not be lethal. Um, that'll actually not be lethal. So, how do we do this? Inscription of Abundance will make it a 12... We attack with that, hit Heroic Intervention on the block. They can block up to eight of that. Now a little more. I don't know if they will. You know what? I probably should have done Inscription of Abundance on this a long-ass time ago. Should I have? Should I have? I. At this point, I don't know if it's worth it. Is it worth it? Well, now it's worth it. Okay. Force my hand. Oh boy. Oh brother. Uh, I think we could probably just one-shot them at this point by uh, dropping this. Actually, go big. Just go big. There you go. Cute little guy. Ooh! Whoa! Not gonna lie, I didn't do the math. Okay, wow. Alright, man. Yeah! <laughs> Wasn't fiery uh, emancipation, it was this one. Nice double power toughness, man. Nice. Yeah, I figured they would block it. That's why I didn't attack in and then save the, you know, minus two for after combat. Wow. Wow, we did not do the math there. It was exact. That's wow. Oof. <laughs> Ooh, that's cutting it as close as you pretty much can. Oof. Not gonna lie. I'm enjoying Michigan Boo. Oh, wow. Having a good time. I, I'm actually going to stop saying that and then say it at the start of this video so maybe more people will see it as they're arrowing through. Yeah, hear me speak or see me speak smart. Yeah. Okay. Uh, free mulligan there. Fine. Because uh, we can get a nice uh, first Vicious Hydra on their uh, stuff. And I am having fun playing this deck. I hope you guys are enjoying watching me. If you are, please make sure to hit that like button if you guys are out there. Get this stuff out to more people. Let them know we're having a hell of a good time. With Minsk and Boo, man, I love the plus one, plus one counters. And uh, I've only played the uh, plus one, plus one counter strategies in green so far. So I'm really happy to add red to that. Rat Colony gets hit by the uh, two uh, X equals two, this thing. I'm telling you, man, I'm, I'm like always getting use out of this thing. And we're actually getting such phenomenal land top decks here. I'm always getting freaking use out of this Voracious Hydra. God, it's just always finding pretty solid fights. Alright, that Rat Colony... Um... I think we probably drop this and uh, start it growing right now, right? I, I could bring in Vivian, but I kind of like this because um, if we bring in Vivian, we don't get another creature on the field. If we bring this in, um, now we have, um, with no attackers there, we have two blockers for Minsk and Boost, a little insurance policy in case one does. 
Harumonix. Okay, they're they're reloading. That one we might want to kill. So I I might earmark my fight spell for that. That's an easy block. Uh, let's see, what is that? Two, three. All right, well. How exactly are we going to do this? You know what? Toski's pretty good, actually, because even, like, before it attacks right now, like, we've actually got a really nice um, indestructible blocker. Um, do I attack or do I hold back? I, You know what? I think I have to attack here. We have two blocks, or most likely one block and an abraid. But Toski at, you know, one toughness is actually going to be okay against, like, their shit here. You know what? Arnie slays the troll. We're fighting Toski against that 3-1 right now. Toski's already a stud. Look at that. Look at that little guy. And now he blocks Karamonix. Look at that guy. I thought instead of blocking or attacking there with the uh, boo... Thought I'd give it to Toski. Uh, wait, did I miss something there? It it has fear. Oh, right. All rats have fear now. All right. Fine. Fine. Uh, you know what? We probably just win here, right? Because uh, I think we just go, like, what? Kelny ambush, attack, and then fling. Yeah. Yep. Uh, unfortunately for him, we were able to fight that first rat with the Voracious Hydra, and taking away that first big power thing from them so early in the game actually is, is so nice. We, we got really fortunate there. The fact that they had to play Karamonix so early instead of unloading a, a freaking, you know, like, plague of rats on us and then reloading may have spoken there to the quality of... I don't know what was in his hand. Wasn't kill spells or that uh, hamster would have died. That's for uh, gosh darn sure. Man, I'm enjoying this commander. Uh, yeah, I think we keep it. Two ramp things. Toski halfway decent against uh, blue. Oh, think really hard. Do we drop Hajar here, or do we go Signet? And mm, it, it could have gone either way there. Hajar doesn't actually get the block there on, so. Oh, yeah, we can't do that. They'll probably do that and then just start freaking countering everything, I would imagine. So right now, we should probably get something down that we really want. Um, Selvala or Branching Evolution? Which one? Probably Branching Evolution. Because I would imagine that now they just pass turn. Right? Just take the extra card. Spells they cast cost two more, so they won't, they won't do anything. They'll just wait to counter our stuff. So, with the capacity for 5 mana, I think Hajar and Selvala feels good. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's go uh, Hajar first, because we probably won't need the Indestructible. Yeah, they're <laughs> super obvious. <laughs> They've got, I've got my counters locked and loaded! Um, Toski isn't really going to do anything here, um, unless we get those on the field, which we actually did, so we'll go ahead and pass the turn there. I would assume the rest of the game is just them countering everything, so I'm, I'm about ready to leave, honestly. Because they've got this thing. Uh, you know, like, we know what that means, especially if they do the exact same thing here, just freaking pass and play. The only thing we could do is maybe drop Toski and put some pressure with Hajar. Uh, 
Okay, I'm about ready to leave with the uh, land pass blue player. I think we're probably gonna start like getting damage in a little too late. Uh, we're we're probably done because like they have four in the air, so that's already a five turn clock. I unfortunately don't have Veil of Summer, which is what I will need in order to uh, resolve my commander. Third chance. They're gonna send our stuff back. There's. I don't think getting mints down is even gonna really uh, work too well. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, resolve, uh, decline. So maybe we should use our commander here. We have Tamios. Um, what would I do? Um, play the freaking thing and then launch the hamster at probably the 3 1. It, it, nothing much else happens. Um, I could play the hamster, um, draw a lot of cards. Or, or like make it really big and then and then probably just have it sent back to me. So let's see if it resolves. And if it doesn't, I'll just freaking leave. Do I just send it right now at Brazen Borrower, or do I make it huge so that at least I can have something freaking like hitting them? You know, like freaking anything hitting them. Uh, and do I attack with Hajar too? Because they do have to double block, including this, in order to kill Hajar. So I feel like I might as well. Since the, pla since the Planeswalker's dead anyway, they have four in the air. So they double block that, we take those. Absolutely. That got rid of their Loremaster thing that was giving them a lot of uh, land pass value. Okay. Uh, they have five, six, nine power on the field right now. Now they could flash more in and maybe like win that way. But we'll we'll try the Great Henge. Uh, if they want to counter that, then they won't be able to. Uh, uh, how do we do this? Um, Rhythm of the Wild um, into this. Is it this? Probably this first. Counter target, yeah, all right. How are we doing this now? Toski, draw a card, see if we get a land or something. Is is that what we do? Um, I don't know if Selvala is super good. It'll tap for a lot of mana next turn. Um, I think I might want to uh, get this attacking. We need some sort of, like, source of plus one, plus one counters. That's actually not terrible, because with this, it would put four plus one, plus one counters on it. The problem is that we don't have Tamios. So if they send that token back to our hand, we're pooped on. They have nine power on the field. Some weird ninjutsu trick could get them more. That actually be pretty cool. Dude's got cool sleeves. This is the first turn he's kept me waiting, so he I'll allow it. And I, I took forever a lot of times there. But in my defense, I'm facing the blue player and this is very tricky. Very tricky. Turn target non land permanent to its owner's hand. That's pretty good. And my creatures don't untap. Yeah, that's probably it. I don't see what we do here. So that's probably just good game, because, uh, yeah, we don't do anything. Unfortunately, they're not untapping. That was... Oh, man. Yep, that was the right move to make there. There you go. A little more of a chance than I thought we had. I really thought it was going to be, like, just land past the whole time. Just counter, counter, counter. 
<sighs> Let's get in there for another one. I'm going to check how long we've been going. All right, nice. 2.36 minutes. Cool, very nice. Probably start start winding it down. I'll play a few more. See what we get. Maybe we can get a five-star game there. Maybe it could have a decent frame rate so when I make it a video, it looks better. It's okay if it doesn't, though, because the quality of my gameplay and my commentary combined more than makes up for it. And let me reach over and pat myself on the back, too. Uh... Wow. They are waiting for an opponent. Well, get me somebody who I can beat, okay? God damn it, Koth. Oh, boy, yeah, this one's really good. This, And then once they get Koth going, there's not a lot to do, man. Not, not this one. No. Honestly, I'll take this one. It does suck that we're going uh, second, though, because um, that gives us even less of an opportunity for Elvish Mystic to survive. If we can get to Domri and Arcabolas, that that's huge. All right, they're probably going to get caught down, and that freaking sucks. So do we do Lanawar Loam Speaker so that way Koth can come in and only fight one of these things? Yeah, yeah, you know it has to be Lanawar Loam Speaker. Koth comes in, only kills one of them, we attack for one with the other and kill it. So they probably have to come up with a different play now. Anger of the Gods would kill us. Alright, still get Domri. Is that to any target? Target creature or planeswalker. So yeah, Domri would have died. Honestly, kind of okay with Domri not dying. Uh, <laughs> definitely. So let's go ahead and uh, do we drop this one and then maybe... Do we do Arnie Slays the Troll on freaking this thing? I might do Arnie Slays the Troll on... Do I do Arnie Slays the Troll on freaking that thing? Um, do I do it? Because then Koth can't kill this next turn, right? Um, to target creature. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Uh, and then they'll probably just sacrifice it to be difficult. Oh, they have to tap it to sacrifice it. Okay, okay, okay. So, yeah, I think that works because um, Chapter 2, once again, you add a uh, red. And, you know, Koth was just going to come in and uh, kill the Lanawar, and then we'd you know, be forced to uh, be at the mercy of top decking there. So hopefully they don't lightning bolt or, you know, burn the uh, token when it enters. All right, looks like we'll probably have a decent swing unless they lightning bolt um, our little boy. Yeah, that was that was the right play because we did not top deck the land. Thank you. Um, doesn't really matter. Oh, looks like they have an instant. Let's see if we get a uh, freaking lightning bolted. Oh, we get the counters. We get the counters. Oh, you, I love it. I love it. Mmm. Yes. Yes. Yep. Trample. Oops. That's enough. Perfect. Now it can't minus three. Beautiful. Because they could minus three and kill this. So unless they proliferate first. They have two cards in hand. We like that. We're feeling good. We have two fights stored up with Domri and it would still live. Alright. Not going to lie though, boys. He can't do three damage to Planeswalkers. I think we got this. Unless he gets really good top decks. Yep. Yep. Oof. What was that at? Five? Oh, okay. So then we were just going to power this up enough to swing it. Probably, uh, what? Let's see. Probably we would drop Hajar and then hold open this, I think. It's the way to go there. The next turn, we'd have Great Henge. Damn, we did it. Nice. 
Nice, man. The hasted, uh, the hasted hamster token, uh, held him off from getting caught down when he, uh, totally could have at four mana, you know, and, like, turn freaking three. I'm telling you, they, they're getting those mana rocks so often, man. <laughs> Yarrick the Desecrated. Uh, is this... Ye I think this is good. <laughs> you know what? If only we were going first. Let, come on, Mulligan. Mulligan, take two or three Mulligans. Three, preferably. But still, um, the Elvish Mystic, yeah, that's uh, quite nice. Wow. All right. Let's see what's he at? He's at seven. All right. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and move this here. It's roughly the order that will play this stuff. Be nice if that didn't just get straight fatal push now. Thank you. Very nice. I like that. Let's not kill it again. Wow. Lives. Uh, do we go bloated contaminator? Do we need to go Bloated Contaminator? I like this, honestly. Um, it could get us Halan and Elena next turn. And and Halan and Elena and both of our dorks would be tapped and... Uh, well, you know what? Maybe, just maybe, we'll get uh, Minsk and Boo. W what do I get rid of here? I like Hajar. I kind of like this. Maybe Bloated Contaminator has to go. It's nice, but... I mean, we actually do have a nice hand. This is kind of cool because it does have trample and haste, so it can accept these uh, tokens or counters, whatever uh, they're called. Um, I think we'll go ahead and uh, drop Minsk and Boo here. Do, do you think it, they're going to counter it? Do we think they're going to counter it? Because we could go Frog Hemoth and test them. Do we think that they're going to counter it? They do have that mana up. I'm going to go Frog Hemoth. We don't get anything out of their graveyard with it, but now we have a decent thing on the field. And if they leave open one blue mana again, I'll probably go Halan and Elena and start feeding Frog Hemoth the counters. All right, well, they don't have blue mana on tap, so now I'll play the commander. Hey, Karn's Bastion, another new entry for tonight. Uh, yeah, nice. Proliferate with it. Good stuff. Good stuff. We'll go ahead and uh, not attack, I think, because I want to uh, make it as difficult as possible for them to get at the commander here. So that would be no attacks, I think. And they can go and invest a uh, kill spell into the hamster that we'll get back. If they want to attack it. Hell, they'll even have to kill a Lanoir Loam Speaker to kill it. Unless they have a spell, of course, but. We'll see. If they kill the Planeswalker, we'll still have the 4 4 on the field. And we can drop Halan and Elena. They drop our Frog Hemoth. I will trade with that. Absolutely. They might as well uh, attack. Yep. We block this. We block this. We take two damage and that's fine. Now we will attack with that, I think. And I will drop Hajar, because it protects our legendary creatures. End turn. Plus one, plus zero, and indestructible. Even if we have to sacrifice it, Halana and Elena gets the first strike block on Hostage Taker, and then uh, Minsk and Boo would only take uh, two damage. 
River's Rebuke, that's annoying. Does this give me also Hexproof? Okay, it doesn't. So we have four lands and that sucks, but like we will get three dorks onto the field, which could be worse. And I mean, hell, if we draw the land, do I go Minskimbu? We have this guy terrified. I don't even have anything on the field besides four lands right now. He's still held back with one of those creatures. I think we have him terrified. Um, probably Minsk and Boo while they're tapped out, though, right? Probably. And if if they kill the uh, the thing here, then it does suck. But, like, you know, at least they'll have to invest a kill spell or another card somehow, like our Frog Hemoth and this thing's usefulness, and killing a token that we just get right back for free. And we get to 4-4, four, four, like, that turn. Because, you know, I mean, in the... Losing the 4-4 right away is different than losing, like, the 7-7 or 10-10. We got nice and fortunate with the top deck. I mean, we'd been a little mana screwed, as we can see by him getting his 7th land now. But, you know, nevertheless, we're very happy for it. Very grateful for the 5th there. Beautiful. Memory... Deluge. And they'll look for something, but they have three mana, so they will not be playing any wipes this turn, or I don't know how that would be good. If they drew some sort of a kill target planeswalker spell, they can almost certainly hit that now. They didn't attack. They didn't attack, boys and girls. They did not attack. You love to see it. You really do. Um, Hajar? Do we start with Hajar, Hajar here? Lana's sabotaging like always. Hey, it wouldn't be a stream without you trying to ruin my day. It wouldn't. Um, we'll go ahead and put the counters here. We're going to get big swing. Big swing. Let's go, baby. I'm trying hard to freaking overcome this sabotage here. Let's see. The hostage taker was a nice choice. That was good, but wasn't good enough. All they got was Frog Hemoth. I think maybe you should have sabotaged with that a turn later. What are we doing here? Canker Bloom? Maybe. Maybe Canker Bloom is all right. And we hold open the opportunity to maybe uh, kill an artifact enchantment. Even proliferate, because it might just save our planeswalker. <clears throat> so we have two things to sacrifice right away and minimize the effectiveness of their board wipes. Okay, doesn't this cast off the top of our library somehow? Look at the top four cards of target opponent's library. Hey, that's me! Exile... One of them, blah, 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 all right? And you can cast it for as long as it remains exiled. <clears throat> so not even as long as this thing is there. Wow, and, and I don't even get to see what it is. That's not fair. But I do get to look at my uh, deck sleeves. Freaking cool. Each opponent discards a card. Oh, all right. <laughs> I mean, I got three pieces of crap right here, and you know two of them. Just kidding, guys. I, I love you both, but at this stage in the game, you're slightly less valuable. Oof. Oof, man. We didn't have him top decking, but, you know, two cards in hand, and this would cost seven, which would be right about a whole entire turn's worth of mana. Oh, man. Oh, boy. I don't know if he had enough time with that boo like that, right? We would just minus this shit and kill him. Oh, sabotage harder. It's okay. It's okay, they, they just have to dial it up. I know they can. Maybe I shouldn't antagonize. Oh, that was great sabotage. Wow, well, really well done. You're so good at sabotage. You work so hard. Maybe you deserve a break. Oh, we did it. We beat Yarrick. I'll probably start winding down the stream about now and see if we... uh. I'll just, uh, you know, concede out of any Atroxa games, try to find something mildly interesting, and whatever happens, happens. There you go. There you go. That's what we'll do. How dare you overcome my sabotaging? Lana Berry, I... I... 
you you know I wouldn't want to sit here and stroke my ego, but when it's when you're the best, man, winning's easy. Um, I don't know about this one, right? We get Clothis, and then like, what does it matter? You know, like we're we're really just praying for each individual top deck. I have to mulligan that. Mulliganing to six never feels good for me. I'm gonna keep six because I don't want to mulligan to five. It might be a stupid thing, but I'm not gonna do it. Okay. Oh man, I feel I feel terrible. My my stomach hurts. Um, fire emancipation is great, but you need a land, and it's my own doing. But I'm really sorry. I didn't want to mulligan to five. Okay. Okay, that is a um, that is a blessing. That's beautiful. That can get us Toski or Halan and Elena. I think it would probably be Halan and Elena since oof, I don't I don't know if Toski does too much. And I mean, I guess while they're tapped out, it's probably smarter to go Halan and Elena anyway, since Toski can't be countered. Uh, well, Oracle of Moldaya changes my mind again. You say, like, talk about rude. Oh, please. Please! Oh, no! No. Oh, but we got all will be one. That's really cool, man. If we can... If, there, if Oracle lives and there is a land under that... We're counting our blessings all the way. Okay, you know what? Not gonna lie, there can also be an untapped land under this. And there isn't, but you know what? Freaking fine. Freaking fine. Um, We bring in Toski and we can't attack. But at least we have it on the field for maybe next turn's use. Um, I think they probably take that block because they still have five mana, or does their commander cost six? Yeah, it costs five. All right, so, um, yeah, they could still block that and be fine. And then they take away Oracle of Moldiah and a draw from us. So, yeah, thinking about it, like, why the heck wouldn't they do that? Um, we might need to kill that with Vivian Reed. Because we can't let them go off with that next turn, right? They have the mana. Right? We have to kill that, right? Right, and then we can actually pressure them with Toski? Oh, come on. Do you have to counter that? All right, that royally sucks. Because now they get to go with Go Golos. That, that sucks. All right, that, that's bad. That's very bad. You want to know how bad that is? Very. Oh, are you going to take my fucking Toski? I can't get to that in time. I, I can't kill that. Um, no attack. Oh, man. Oof. Feels bad, man. Big feels bad, man. Um... What do we do here? Do we do like all will be one? Halan and Elena could be all right. I kind of like all will be one. All right, no blocks. Oh boy. All right, well, strap in because uh, I... I have to assume they play Golos, even if they don't every single time. I'll just keep assuming because it's Golos. I'm actually very surprised that they played Hostage Taker on Toski. Alright, not gonna lie, they definitely whiff there. I mean, at least they, like, get, you know, explore, like, and it's pretty good. They can play an additional land each turn, or can it, is it from their hand? You can play an additional land, yeah, so they get the Stomping Ground from Exile. I mean, that's still good. You know, oh boy, alright, that's good. Oh god! What a gift. And they probably will not be able to counter the creature spell here. So um, this is actually really good. Actually really good, man. Um, this is going to be huge, actually, because this is going to get counters from all will be one. So hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so X equals five. We're going to blow up um, a bunch of stuff here. Um, the hostage taker and their Golos. We'll deal one damage right now to them. Because whenever we put counters on freaking anything... You got... Wait, how did you counter that? What just happened? Oh, right. Oh, the freaking Paradise Druid. Okay, which I should have killed then with that. Uh, with that. Oh, man, they had freaking counter spell. That stinks, and now they get another Golos. That stinks. Oh, boy. 
I don't I don't feel good. They're playing loads of counters. So we'll, we'll just try something next. We'll just try to get Minsk and Boo next turn. And if and when it gets countered, I'll just leave. I have to sacrifice. That sucks. What do we get rid of? Is it? It's probably Armored Scrap Gorger at this point. I think Oracle can just be really good. It can get me, like, it can help with commander attacks every turn, theoretically. All right, we don't get it exactly, but we still do this, which is going to be okay. So three damage here to um, Golos. Now we're going to do one and three here. So one damage goes here. I should have done before. The next three goes to that. Um, unfortunately, we can't use this right now because the proliferate would be pretty cool, to be perfectly honest. We have to no attacks there, I think. I think we should force them to invest in getting at our Planeswalker. We have to discard a card, which is really annoying. Um, what do I discard? Hang on. I, I really want to be sure about this. It's probably Bloated Contaminator. Because a Braid can kill Hostage Taker. A braid can honestly kill, um, oh god, alright, yeah, that's it, that's miserable. Alright, yeah, there's nothing to do. Alright, it, it was cool to have, uh, all will be one, though. I mean, you get really good value out of that, right? Like, dropping the planeswalker, you get to deal damage equal to the counters put on it right away, you plus the ability, and then the plus ability puts counters on stuff. Oh, man. And then if we... If we wind up being able to have that with, like, Vorinclax, Branching Evolution, you know, hell, even Hardened Scales, the little one cost a counter enhancer. Oh, gosh, that could get really ugly. Especially with freaking Vorinclax. Forget it. Forget it. Double counters at every step. Uh, you know what? Yeah, we're gonna give it an attempt. Shaper's Sanctuary into this is gonna be cool, because they're running red. Rhythm of the Wild isn't the worst thing in the world. I mean, it doesn't protect our Planeswalker from getting countered, but, like, we do have, you know, a reasonable amount of creatures. We've got Tail Swipe to, uh, maybe later down the road get a decent shot at this with, uh, Boo. Should it uh, survive to that point? Alright, the Shaper Sanctuary I think is going to be good against this one. Okay. Land top deck is really nice. We have Veil of Summer in this deck. Makes it so that spells we uh, play this turn can't be countered. Cost one uh, green. Is it Rhythm of the Wild or is it Toski? I kind of like Rhythm of the Wild right now because we're not actually swinging in with Toski here. And then it can make it a 2-2 next turn, which is kind of decent because, I mean, it's indestructible, right? It's nice that it can't be chumped then by, you know, two toughness as well. So if they leave open mana, we just drop the land, play Toski attack. Alright, they uh, only have the uh, colorless mana there. So um, unless they have Pact of Negation, they're not countering our boy. I bet they have Pact of Negation. Let's see. I, I really hope not, but I, we, we, I have to assume the freaking worst. Come on. I know you have it, don't you? I mean, maybe it's just offering them to do this because it does gain them a life. Maybe it's just offering them to tap that. Come on, no pact. Oh, yes, no pact and negation. Alright, beautiful. We got it to four toughness, too, so if they want to kill it, hopefully they have to invest a little bit. Although, burn down the house still ruins our life right now. 
If they burn down the house, we Toski haste attack, get the card. I think this is a Toski with haste for an extra card. We have Shaper Sanctuary 2. It looks like they're about to target something. Yep, draw the card. Alright, well, we get two cards. Up against blue, where it's card advantage. Name of the game, baby. We have Rhythm of the Wild down and a Toski in hand, so we're uh, feeling good about the Rhythm of the Wild now. Um, since Minsk and Boo gives those plus one, plus one counter to a creature with uh, haste, and uh, oh, thank God we had just gotten this up to five. Beautiful. You know what? I might just send T Kogla in at them. I might just send Kogla in at you. Start eating up your mana. What you gonna do about it, boy? This. Haste. Love to see it. Doesn't fight. That's okay. Boom. Less mana capacity. So now if they don't drop a land and they want to play their commander, they tap out for it. Oh, there it is. Lana Berry. I just finished my Titan... Congratulate! Hell yeah! Congratulations! I, I hope you enjoy playing it. I hope you pilot it to as much success as you want. Yeah, that, that thing's really cool. When and when uh, Big Fat MTG has enough rares and wild cards, I plan on moving into that realm. That's I, I like it a lot, man. Very cool. Hell yeah! <laughs> oh, melding's freaking cool, man. Melding's freaking cool. Yeah, that's probably going to be it. I'm just, honestly, I'm going to take a look at uh, Titania really quick. Because I'm just curious, Lana, do you know it? Since, you know, it's, it's your um, it's your commander. Um, when you um, meld it and then you lose the meld, right? And it dies somehow. Like, does the land go back into your graveyard? That Argoth land? Uh, like, how does that work? Um, let's see. Um... Meld. A melding a pair of cards results in a single combined. Okay, copies can't get melded, but exile them, then mil Oh, it says exile them. Oh, shoot. Wait, so if you lose the land named Argoth, does it, it, it probably stays exiled? Wait, so do you need, like, something that lets you... Oh, it goes back in the graveyard. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Okay, so you can try again, because I know there's, like, really cool cards that um, let you play lands for graveyards. And as a matter of fact, one of my favorite cards from the new set is actually this one. You can play lands from your graveyards, because not only does it give you the land from your graveyard, but, like, that really cool tap ability is actually so awesome. You can cast just, like, a spell from your freaking graveyard, and it can be, like, permanent cards. That's so good, dude. Like, sagas... Thank God you can meld more than once. Because I was going to say, like, that, that would be a freaking tragedy. Yeah, I like this thing a whole hell of a lot. Vigilance, reach, trample, haste. Power and toughness equal to the number of lands you control. Phenomenal, so it's great with Ashaya. That's so cool. It's so much easier to get the land from the great... Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because I know, like, right here it is, right? Titania's Command, yeah. Search your library for up to two lands, put them onto the battlefield, tap, then shuffle. I know, like, what, like, Ren and, you know, Ren and Seven, whatever, is, like, phenomenal in this deck, too, right? It just makes it so easy to get the lands, I'm pretty sure, right? I wonder, do you, do you happen to have... I wonder what you think of this one, whether or not you have it, whatever. But, like... Vivian on the hunt has that plus one ability, put a uh, mill five cards and the creature cards all go into your hand, you know, and then like the lands, you don't really mind if they're in your graveyard anyway. That's really cool. And I'm pretty sure like the brother's war has a, uh, a rare um, that you can play lands from a graveyard, which is actually really cool. Um, I, for some reason, I just love this card. It's really not even too good. I just love this card. I love that it has, like, the unearth ability, because, like, Titania could just really quickly get back Argoth, and then it dies again, whatever. I, <laughs> for some reason, I really like this card. I even love that it's a 2-7. I just wish that it wasn't a 5, but, uh, 
Yeah, that's really good. Oh, you need the Planeswalker, Ren. Um, oh, did I take off um, Not Collected? What, did I spell it wrong? Well, I, I'm not telling you that it's good, Lana. I, I don't know if it is. I, I'm just I'm just asking because it, it, it occurred to me for a second. Oh, right, I have to take off a freaking Brothers War. All right, yeah. And I love this Planeswalker. I love this Planeswalker actually so much, dude. It's so freaking cool. And then there's like... I wonder, this card is... I've always liked this card, to be honest. I think it's really cool, and I love that it's from Ixalan. It's part of the Merfolk tribe. I love that it's a green member of the the blue-green Merfolk tribe, which is, like, mostly blue. I, I, I love this card. I think the art is freaking beautiful, man. Look at how cool. I need more self-mill stuff. Okay, well, I, I honestly don't know how to help you there. I haven't, like, like really brewed it too hard i just know that i think the cool the thing is cool because one time like some person bashed me over the head with it really hard and i thought it was really cool Whew, i'm excited for you though i uh world shaper is really good oh okay i i wasn't sure about that i'm not giving you recommendations like sneakily i literally it's just occurring to me and i'm a little excited that you're playing it because i think it's cool Whew. Yeah, enjoy that, and I hope, uh, you know, as you get more uh, rares or whatever for it, that you even further enjoy it. Oh, man, it's nice to uh, bling out those decks, and it's nice to watch them go from, like, being, you know, just barely functional to, like, you know, fleshed out with all the shiny cards, you know? Hell yeah. All right, boys and girls. I'm going to uh, sign out now, so uh, Lana Berry, shout out to you. I'm pretty sure Rusty was here, too. Hell yeah, Moonwatcher was here. Shout out to you, my dude. Thank you for your viewership, your loyal viewership. And Nino, who had to go, but if you're uh, watching this, appreciate you. If you're watching this pre-recorded, you probably uh, aren't watching this anymore, but I stream most days, Eastern Standard Time, 6 p.m., except Tuesdays. Oh, man, I'll catch you guys uh, on Wednesday here on the worst Magic the Gathering stream. And I'm not even going to lie. Like, I had so much fun today with that Phyrexia All Will Be One. I can't recommend it enough just before I leave. I know that I was just signing off, but I'm, I'm sorry. But I can't recommend this card enough. It's so freaking cool in this deck. And the more Planeswalkers you put in and maybe even ways to search this thing out, the better. This, I'm so freaking happy with this card. It's so freaking powerful. All right, guys. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. See you Wednesday. Shout out to my viewers, my live pre-recorded. Bye, bye now.